Welcome everyone. Now has begun the 28th day of Disaster to Master. And today I want to really focus on just trying to study study as much as possible. Um, I think I want to finish Reassess Your Chest before I start reading the Endgame Course book by Silman. Like I, I guess continue because I've read this till like I think I read this till like 1400 rating. thing. Oh no, 1500 rating. thing. And then there's a category that starts at 1600. Yeah. And this is I this is something I haven't read yet or started. So I'll do that at some point. But there's also reassess your chest and then I, there's some puzzle books I want to do. But I think let's just continue with reassess your chest for now. <laughs> okay. So I think I'm just gonna oh yeah daily puzzle let's do that first. Discovering a missed opportunity. Um, we have material equality. It's two bishops versus two knights. Actually, yeah, it's pawns are even as well. A very strong passer here. Damn. Um, it's Wednesday, so this shouldn't be too tricky. I think Wednesday, pu Wednesday, Wednesday puzzles are like maybe like twelve hundred rated. So they can be a bit tricky. So I'm seeing that this rook hangs. So there might be a way to up, 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 win, win this rook because there's some tension here. Uh, everything, all of my pieces are well defended. And I'm also seeing that the rook is kind of overloaded or like it's defending two pieces, right? Um, so I'm seeing, you know, of course this we're taking a piece. If we go, if he takes in between, because of course, if he just recaptures, uh, we get the rook. We check, but uh, we take he recaptures in between. We have this Schwitzenzug. Uh, we check, and you can recapture. And I mean, we win two pieces for a rook. Um. No, wait, what? Yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah, we win two pieces per rook. And I guess that's that's good. Also, it's this very two very strong bishops. Oh, it's not. Okay, it's not good enough. <laughs> um I guess there's all this. Oh wait, I should have Ugh, I got lazy, I'm sorry. Because this we can capture two pieces with, but this we can threaten the queen with. So of course that's stronger. You can go there though. Also, you could just go there. Of course, what am I thinking? So we can attack the queen there. And what do we actually do there? I mean, we can also try to trap the queen. Wait, what? Can we just trap the queen? But no, our knight hangs. No, I mean, I guess that's good. We win two pieces for the, for the queen. Okay, yeah, I'm doing a really bad job at this puzzle. Because this here you just take. So we could go here. I guess you can go there. But then we get in here. And then you gotta leave here. You gotta go like, I don't know, something like, something like this. So I guess we don't really trap the queen after all. I guess if I attacked the queen some other way, we might be able to trap her. Well, not really. Gonna cover this square and this square. Okay, I don't I don't really know what's happening. Hi Eminem. Damn. Do all white people with a basket look the same? But yeah, I've been thinking about my basket and I feel like I kind of like aesthetically I, I regret it. It's gonna take a really long time till I, you know, get some hair back. But like practically it's it's really good. Like when I'm at the gym, it's just so much easier. When I don't have a massive sponge on top of my head for like sweat. Like on these summer days, it's so super sweaty to, to do workouts and stuff. Okay, yeah, so what the hell is happening here? You can also go, I mean, wait. I guess, yeah, wait, you know what? Then you take. Nah, brother, what the heck? And so there's ways to attack the queen. But the, this not, pawn isn't actually pinned, because if you take... 
with sake you can even wait no that doesn't work what the heck am i doing discovering a missed opportunity what's that mean okay so there's a discovery i mean it's probably this something like this right you also go back here oh wait but then hmm you just go back what am i doing dude what am i doing but yeah used what's up how are you doing oh yeah i was supposed to look at the game yeah you sent the game right in the battle rat sack because i've been playing a bit more blitz recently i actually got my bullet rating to my uh, all-time best and blitz rating really high as well um at least relatively uh so like i see the powder attack like like 80 or 90 percent of the games in the sicilian are just the bowler attack which is so dumb because it's a sucky opening it sucks i'm glad you found like a response to it but you should have done that way just ago because it's really simple you just play e6 and it's like refuted <laughs> not, not quite but like it's it's black is great Mm, but yeah, I'll, let's see about that. Oh yeah, it's just me crushing Bowder Attack, and Bowder Attack is a mistake, yeah. Like, what could it this? What could this be? Because this doesn't work because you just take... Do we have any checks? No. If I went here, the queen just goes back. Uh -huh. We take the queen is there and it's nothing. Oh, then there's this. What the heck? Okay, that's pretty hard to see. What the heck? From videos I watched, they say battle attack is just giving advantage to black. Yeah, exactly. Okay, let's look at the game now. I mean, you should have figured that out by now. I mean, the engine analysis tells you the same thing. But yeah, okay, let's see. Freaking goofball. Um, was I releasing the Fez soundtrack? Because Iki yesterday was recommending it, but yeah. What the heck's happening here? Okay, let's see. Analysis. Yeah, ugly shit. E6, nice. Huh? Okay, I don't know what this move does. You could just play D5 right away. I don't know why you're going a6. Okay, they, nah, what are they doing? What are they doing? Yeah, I guess... I, what? Why are you preparing b5 when you could just push d5? <clears throat> now you push d5. I guess, I mean, you have a lot of space, but like, you could have just used this time to develop your pieces. Okay, well, I mean, that's a weird move. Yeah, wait, let me put, uh, turn off the engine. That's another weird move. I guess they don't want you to come here. Like, they're just wasting a lot of time. We just develop. Okay. Mm. I guess that's cool, but I would like to castle. Because then it could... Well, I don't know. I would do this, because then there's a possibility to... Annoy them with this check. Because then they have to de develop to a non-ideal squ square or something like that. Um, but I guess they want to put the knight there anyway. But yeah, I guess Fianchettoing is okay because it goes in the x-ray, but I feel like there's enough stuff here already. And you don't really... I guess you won't, can overprotect this pawn. Mm, I guess, yeah, but I mean... I'd probably put the bishop there instead. I mean, I guess that walks into, like, uh, g4. I guess that's okay, but I would have developed, that I would developed this bishop first. Because uh, then... You could have checked now... And force this knight here. I guess the queen could have also gone back. Okay, yeah. Okay. And also, wait, they're attacking this. Wait, no, they're not. They're not. They're not. Okay, now they're attacking it, yeah. You defend it and attack at the same time. That's pretty good. Yeah, they go back. Bishop d6 looks natural here. There's all this pin. You often go h6 here. Okay, that's really bad. What are you doing? You wanna you wanna try this? Um, is that strong even? Hmm. 
I mean, I guess how how do they parry that? Um, I guess it's pretty difficult. They could push it. If they push, we go there anyway. I guess I actually I guess that's a strong threat. Maybe is it? I mean, I don't know if I would care, even. Because you could just... Oh, wait, no, no, no. Here. If you do it anyway, I guess you could go here as well. But there's no difference. They would just dodge. And if you take... Oh, thank you for the follow! Wow! It was recommended in the video by an IM. Wait, which IM? Thank you for the follower. Followage. Spelling my own balls. That's... That's like a very on the nose Joe Mama thing, or like a these nuts joke. But that's a really banger name, smelling my own balls. Like, I guess either you have like a really good sense of smell, or your balls are just like ex extremely droopy, and you're like upside down or something. That's 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 a pretty weird existence. Okay, yeah. But I guess oh, this is tricky. Sure, I guess because they're kind of contorted. But I don't know if it's. Yeah, I guess it's strong. Yeah, King F1. And I have to step away from it. Yeah, actually, that's the only move. Wow. I guess, yeah, because this knight hangs as well. Wait, yeah, there's no way to smartly do this. Because if you just go bishop d6... Uh, maybe they just go knight there. Yeah, actually. Wait, no, d4. Oh, it just hangs. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you've hung yourself. I mean, you you pinned yourself, but that's... Yeah, queen e7 here, even here is good, because it forces the knight here, pretty much. I guess the queen go here as well. But the knight e5, and it's a similar position. Yeah. But, uh, okay, this is actually kind of smart, that you did, what you did. I didn't realize at first how strong it was. Yeah, they take. And... I guess you take with the pawn, yeah. King F1. Um, okay. Well, now it's now the advantage is kind of gone in a way. I don't know if you should have allowed this. I think D4 here to stop D4 from white. Also open up this bishop. Open up this bishop as well, but... Um, I feel like this is pretty strong. Because then you can start threatening stuff on the G file as well. Um, what do you want here? No, I, of course, what am I talking about? Okay. Yeah. And that's not necessary. I guess you prevent this. But is it not, not even possible? I don't know if you should waste the tempo here. Because I know you're like blocking the bishop. But you could have just kept it like this. But if they now, if they just do like a, this type of move. If they go here. Can they force the thing open? I mean, I guess, no, if they have if they put their pawns there, then it's just... I don't know, actually. Maybe this is... I mean, maybe it's a, it's a smart move. Okay, that's weird. That's really weird. What the fuck? It's super weird. Okay, nice. Trading. I guess, yeah, you get this check and you get the open file anyway. Hmm. You like trading the rooks. It's a bit weird trading the rooks because you have two open files. You could put pressure. You could put. You could have put a rook on, and the G file as well. Um. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, now we're putting pressure here. And I guess it's it's 
Yeah, because now he's... <laughs> oh my god, now his bishop is completely trapped. That's so sucky. Yeah, you bring out your bishop, smart. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh. I mean, he just has to give up the pawn. Like, there's no... No, wait, I guess they can defend with the king. Cool, yeah, okay. Now they move their knight. Okay, what is this? What are you doing with these pawns? You're blocking your own bishop. Now your bishop is dead. I mean, not really, but we were just laughing at your... Okay, what is this? I don't know what these moves are. You could move your king out, but now you blocked your king as well. Okay. Okay, yeah, hung a pawn. They don't see it. Oh wait, no, they don't. You didn't. Sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Sure, keep hello, 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 keep. Uh, wait, sorry, my bad. I forgot to read chat. I forgot I'm streaming. I'm just talking to myself. Do you want to go knight f3? Oh, knight f3. I mean, you could also just take here. I was thinking you just win the pawn. Um, wins bishop? Wait, wait, wait. Does it? I guess if you go there, still, yeah, that doesn't do anything, because it's not a double check. I guess if they didn't put the queen there, but no, I don't think that's what that works. Stops advancing of his king and knight, but wait. I mean, the knight doesn't advance anyway. What are you talking about? This doesn't do anything. The knight is fucking here. And this square is already covered. And now it is giving squares to the knight. I guess, kind of. Like, now we gave this square to the knight. Um, but... Also, I'm, I gotta sneeze. Hello, you fizzy. What's up? And... Wait, you didn't analyze your game? You shared your game, but you don't you didn't even analyze it. Why am I doing the analyze analyzation of your games? Brother! <laughs> what? You didn't even look at your lines? Do you not look at your games, Just Because, I mean, this is just... This is just dumb, because it also blocks your king. Because you, your king could have gotten in by this way, but now your king is, like, basically stuck here. And you just waste, like, four moves moving your double pawns. He does this, for some reason. Like, undoubles your pawns. He could have, like, maneuvered. Um, I don't know what to do, actually. But I feel like this is just bad, because you have basically... Yeah, like, that's your that's your biggest weakness, and he just eliminates it. I guess his knight, his knight is active now, kind of. But not really. Okay, now, yeah, now you let the knight in. You could have just stopped the knight from coming in. They could go here, but, like... Yeah, you let them come in. Now they're going to go after this weakness. It's going to take a few turns, but don't think there's a way to defend it. Okay, do they know what they're doing? Yeah, okay, they, they can, yeah, wait, I guess, no, there you could take. I guess they get a pass pawn, but they can't, they can't promote it. And you get a pass pawn as well, and I guess you're just faster. What is this? What is this? <laughs> I guess taking the pawn here doesn't even do anything. But like, what the fuck is this? They're just playing like garbage. I guess they wanted to take so they can move their king here. They could also just gone here to free up this bishop. Um... 
Yeah, I just lost. Okay, yeah. yeah. I did look at it, okay. You have to do a better job at looking at it then. But yeah, I don't understand why you don't just go d5. Like, you don't need to prepare b5 when you could just go d5 right away and not waste the tempi. I guess this is like theory because you create this hole here, but it's just, it's just, it's just bad because we get the center. Let me just see. And yeah, this is actually smart. Knight a5. Queen a7. That's a cool thing. Not seen that before, but I mean it's because they brought the fucking queen out. <laughs> That's so dumb. I don't know why they did that. And I guess, wait, knight takes d3 even here, wow. I guess, yeah, that should have been considered. Because it comes with check. Yeah, it's just a free move. And then you can take... Huh? Oh, yeah, then take the queen. And then you go back. King f3. We defend. And we're down a piece temporarily. Okay, this is weird. What's going on? This is checkmate. Okay, that's so funny. That's so funny. You set up like a mate. Okay, yeah, go back. Yeah, this is a weird move. C4 even. Knight d3. Oh, and we just get this permanent knight here. Wow, that's so cool as well. Like, switching from tactical to positional. What about this? C takes, C takes. And now we still have this, but I mean, it's not like it's a threat anymore. Yeah, this is such a smart move. And we have massive... I mean, we control this massive weakness. I guess they can try to fight for it, but like, it's gonna be pretty tough because we can put our you know, bishop in as well. You must die. Wait, <laughs> Thanos posted, "You must die," and Twitch didn't like that. Twitch is against God. Okay. Yeah. D4. Yeah, D4 is smart. Knight C4. Okay, I don't, I don't know what's happening. Like, we should probably stop looking at this game. And then they they equal us with queen h5. Wow. Yeah, c4 is actually smart. Yeah, because if you don't, if you just do like something like this. Oh, then the queen. Oh, the idea is that the bishop gets out like this way. Uh -huh. Yeah. So otherwise the bishop is empty and tuned. Okay, okay, c4 is smart, yeah. But what about like this? I guess you don't really care because you can just recapture with the pawn. But I swear this 30 Celsius temp is killing my chess skill. Just play in a freezer or something. Just turn on the fridge. Knight b6. Oh, immediately going for the weaknesses, I guess. <coughs> That's smart. Yeah, definitely now this is such a big weakness. I guess the engine likes to trade. But knight b6. Going right for this weakness. Because you now our bishops get in. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. But yeah, you had the right idea. Yeah. Bishop c8. Smart, smart. Yeah, and it's just completely winning. Knight b2. Huh? Knight d3. Oh, and you win this. Knight d3. Knight c1. What the heck? Ah, the bishop is trapped. 
Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's a cool tactic. Check. If Kinko, Kinko, King goes, I guess, yeah. If he goes anywhere else. Now I can go here to threaten this fork. It's not even, it doesn't matter it's a fork because the bishop can't move. Wow, that's so cool. But yeah, this endgame play is horrible. Yeah. Knight b2 check, king c2. And knight d3 and you can never get rid of this knight here pretty much. And, but you just push these pawns, and then you push a pawn again, just do horrible moves in a row. And f5, okay, so there's two, two next moves were engine like them, I guess. But, it's, but you already lost like a big chunk of your advantage, but yeah, this is just weird. Knight takes, and then king e6, yeah, only move. Mm. Knight a2 or knight h5 or strong. This check that doesn't really do anything, okay. No, sorry. It should still be a draw. But this is just the wrong wrong way to play. Yeah, because I mean yeah, you just gotta stop the king from coming in. Kinda short sighted to go after this pawn. And even this knight, because like What's the knight actually doing? And now it's completely lost. Yeah, I... I mean, you were bragging about, like, figuring out the battler attack. Like, how to, how to face the battler attack. But then you play a, a6, b5. Which is, like, such a roundabout way of fighting against it. Just go for immediate d5. That's how I always do it. Just go e6 and then d5. If they go uh, knight c3, you just first go knight f6 and then you go d5. And even if you go knight... Okay, I'm gonna stop. It just stop his bishop hard as fuck. That's, that's correct, that is correct. Okay. Now we read. We read Jeremy Silman's Rias is Your Chess 4th edition. And the next chapter is called A Space Gaining Pawn Center. Might be a target. Hmm, that's cool. These are important concepts. Okay, space is created by the expansion of pawns. If you think of a line of pawns as a fence, you will easily understand the concept of territory behind your fence, behind... Wait, being yours. Yeah. In the 18th... Wait, okay, let's try again. If you think of a line of pawns as a fence, you will easily understand the concept of the territory be behind your fence being yours. In the 1800s and early 1900s, a big pawn center was thought to be advantageous in almost every situation. How could a constricting pawn defense not be good? However, in the 1920s, a group of players, Nimzovich, Retti, Alyokhin, Pagalyubov, uh, Grunfield and Braya, turned this pawn center is good mentality on its head. I've not heard of Breyer. Um, or Breyer. Uh, these hypermoderns realized that one could allow the opponent to build away like a demented beaver, <laughs> only to have it placed under pressure from a distance by a combination of pawns and pieces. Demented beaver. <laughs> that is so funny. I mean, that makes a lot of sense, you know? And the A6 move was recommended by IM. I played it for that reason. Uh, I mean, which, which IM? You just say IM, but which IM was that? Hello, Mercy. Howdy, howdy. But yeah, which I am? Because I don't think it... I mean, I guess... But E6 is just so much more intuitive. I guess, yeah, if you go for... Hmm. Wait, no, no, no. You go E6. And then they went, like, here, I think. Like, how did you not go... Why did you not go D5 here? Because, I mean, if, you, if they play correctly... Or I don't know, correctly or correctly. Uh, then a6, okay, yeah. But that's not the line they went for. I think they went for d3 right away. Um, yeah, because then you allow, disallow this check. But... I guess maybe I should look at that line as well. Yeah. 
Well, the engine likes D5 anyway. But A6 is interesting, yeah. Hmm. But they played like, I don't know what shit they played. They like, played like this and then you go A6 for no reason. And I think then they went like, they pushed another pawn somewhere. They did like something like this. Probably not. No, because that would trap the bishop. I don't remember what they did. But yeah, it was dumb. But yeah, what's up, Mercy? I played my move in the in the game we had. But yeah, used can you tell me the I am, the name of the I am? Or did you already forget? It's kinda <laughs> it's kinda funny that you just say I am. As if that's like uh, that's just the name of the guy. Okay, let me uh, keep reading, I guess. One of the most powerful demonstrations of a sentry being laughed at and treated like a target is the Grünfeld defense. Uh, though this new opening first attracted attention in 1922 when Grünfeld beat Aljohin with it, it was actually first employed by employed way way back in 1855. Okay, yeah. Okay, let's look at the Grünfeld because I have no idea about the Grünfeld. I have no, I have no. Not, I know it's from the King's Indian. Oh, no, I, don't, I know it's from the Indian. Do we go d5 here? No. Okay, let's try again. So c4, g6, knight c3, and now we go d5. Ah. Now we go d5. Okay, yeah. That's a weird move order. Because if you just go here, for something like this, or even e5, I guess. No, but e5 disallows d5, uh, d5 so that's the point, I guess. Three knights. Oh, this is still okay. Now it is transposed to Grunfeld. Um, but yeah, I guess the point is that you push d5 before they can go e5, e4. e3, bishop g7, knight f3, castles, c takes d, knight takes d. Oh my god, knight takes d. I wish I was that knight, man. Bishop b2. Knight takes c3, b takes c5, whoa. Castles, c takes d4, c takes d4, knight c6. Speak on that. No? That's it. That's all I'll say. White has a firm pawn center. Well, let's turn it around. Yeah. White has a firm pawn center. But it's held at bay by black pieces, which apply pressure from deep within their own camp. I mean, I guess, yeah, kind of, but I mean, white pieces are also deep within their own camp. But I guess, yeah, sure. You can maybe push e5 at some point and try to just open the center completely. Um, okay, bishop b2. Bishop g4. Dubious. Uh, queen d5 should just be equal, apparently. Stopping the pawn in its tracks, and I guess maybe preparing e5 even more. But yeah, this is dubious. Rook c1, rook c8, bishop a3, queen a5, queen b3. Rook F E eight. Uh, blunder. Wait, no, what yeah there. Blunder. This is a blunder. It makes sense because you wanna unpin yourself. But why does it blunder? This pawn hangs. This pawn hangs. Why is that a blunder? Okay, okay, let's see. Wait, what? Rook c5. Uh -huh. Queen b6. Rook b5. Queen c7. Now you could take here. But knight g5. Bishop takes e2. Huh? 
Wait, no. What am I talking about? Bishop takes e2. That's e2. Oh, this is bishop. Oh my god, my brain. My brain. I need to turn it on. Lisa, hello, Lisa. Welcome, welcome. I'm greatly enjoying my chess face. Really? That's cool. Keep at it, man. Um, but yeah, what's happening here? You take this bishop. Hello, Lisa. Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. Mm. Knight takes f7. Blunder. Another blunder. Queen takes f7. Check. King h8. Knight e6. Wins. On the spot. Wait, what does it win? Oh yeah, we're attacking here and there here. Okay, okay, yeah, makes sense. And you can't go here, yeah. So let's see why this was a blunder. So, I mean, it's not, it doesn't completely lose, right? Mm, but yeah, it, it just put them in a pickle. What if you just took here, greedy? Oh wait, no, of course you can't take. If I took here now, rook takes, yeah, that's that's strong too, but knight takes knight g5, going for this makes it makes more sense, very stronger. When world champ, <laughs> shut up. Yeah, I don't know why you take with the knight, I guess you prepare the discovered check, but now they can take your rook as well. Knight takes. <gasps> oh, wait, what? another blunder, knight a5. What's happening? Why is it came here? Knight d8, great move. Rook c5. If knight h6, king h8, knight d6. No, 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 no. There's a semicolon there. Uh, if knight d6. Bishop c4. Whoa. Oh, and that works. Because it's not a double check, yeah. Knight takes e8. Queen d7. This is super sharp. What's happening? We're attacking here and here. Okay, yeah. What the fuck? Reach it last night. You reach Magnus? What did Magnus? How, how, where was he? How far was he? <laughs> that was such... Okay, ignore that. I've, I've never said that. But yeah, knight a5. Knight h6. Check. King h8. Queen g8. Checkmate. No? Oh yeah, it's checkmate. Black had a perfectly acceptable position until the reign of mutual blunders began. <laughs> Nevertheless, it's a pity nobody noticed this game at the time. It might have completely changed the 19th century landscape of chess thought. Damn. So is this the first time... I'll, uh... Yeah, this is the first uh, Grunfeld game ever. Wow. So this was between Jay Kohrane and Mahesh Kandra in Calcutta. What the heck? <laughs> Let's go through it again. But it became pretty sharp. But yeah. The queen capture is just really obvious. Is this the... Uh, how do you review this? Oh, it's actually winning for black now. No, no stronger for black now. But this is just mate, yeah. E6, yeah, stopping the connection. And there is nothing anymore. Queen A5. Then you take the rook and you just up material. Yeah, you're up a P. He <laughs> with two pawns. Also, sorry for yawning so much. I don't know. I just woke up. I didn't. I have my sleep schedule. I thought I fixed it last night or yesterday by going to sleep at like 11 p.m. But then I woke up at like. Six to seven. I know that sounds like a lot of sleep, or like enough, you know, like seven, eight hours. But I was so tired throughout the whole day, and then I went to take a nap. I set my alarm at like 
you know, two hours after that. Like I said, like a ton of alarms. But I don't know how, but my, my willpower just wasn't enough to get out of bed and I ended up sleeping for like five hours. No, wait, more. No, five? No, like seven hours. I slept like five hours more than I was meant, I meant to. So I slept seven hours at night and seven hours as a nap. So I was sleeping like two thirds of the day. <laughs> uh, okay, but yeah, that was the first um, Grunfeld game ever played. At least recorded. An Pegoraro versus... Oh, no, 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 it goes on. The Aliogin defense. Uh, e4, knight f6 is another hypermodern opening that was actually toyed with long before hypermoderns existed. The oldest example I could find was from 1802. Damn. In the game Madame de Remusat uh, versus Napoleon. Napoleon the first. Paris. E4, knight f6. D3. Knight c6. F4, E5, F takes, Knight takes, Knight C3, this is a Napoleon game, Napoleon was black pieces. Wait, Napoleon played the Aliohin for the first time. <laughs> it should be called the Napoleon defense, that would be so cool. Uh, knight FG, wait what, 4, D6. Wait, it's a blunder. Oh, because d4 and then the knight falls. Uh, but that doesn't matter. Oh, wait, yeah, it does. d4. Queen h. Check. g3. Queen f6. Knight h3. I guess, yeah, that's checkmate. Bitch by four is more logical, though. <laughs> uh, knight h3, knight f3. Check. King e2. Knight takes d4. King d3. Okay, this is like 800 red the chess. Knight e5, check. <laughs> King takes d4. Ship c5, check. King takes c5. <laughs> Queen b6. King d5. Queen d6, mate. <laughs> what? I don't know if Algaier saw this game, <clears throat> but he analyzed e4, knight f6 in 1819 and decided that it was garbage. His opening wasn't given any respect until Aliohin used it twice in 1921 to score a win and a draw against Semish and Steiner. Uh, then it was off to, off to the hypermodern races with various adventurous players, goading, their, goading white center pawns forward in an attempt to smite them if they dared to go too far. Is this Napoleon, really? I know he used to play a lot of chess, but he wasn't very good. But this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Okay, next game. N. Pegoraro versus Henderson, Ischia 1996. Oh yeah, Mercy played a move. Let's, let's roast him. But yeah, I'm playing like a Vienna type of thing. I played the wear, wear opening as a joke because that's what... Just uh, used also played against him. Okay, okay, you castle. That's smart. That's really smart. I think. Now we can win back the pawn. Um, yeah, because now we can't go here because this is not checkmate anymore. Um, I think this just makes the most sense. We have nice development. And we have the open F file. We're gonna take, and then we take back. Do we take? Yeah, because the knight is defended in this line. I don't think I've ever seen 
like a fianchetto thing in the in the vienna it's not the vienna but it's it's a very similar thing because that's what i kind of played this guy is kind of like what i had to play yeah he didn't go for the modified vienna gambit because i think here wait oh we can go for through lines what the hell but yeah i think i'll just take this Yum 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 yum. Mm, okay, next game. Oh, this is the Al Aliochian. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So e4, knight f6, e5, knight d5. So this is from 1996, so it's a, it's a very recent game. This is not ancient chess anymore. Okay, d4, d6. Yeah, this is the main line c4 knight b6 f4 oh the four four pawns thing yeah four, four pawns attack then you take we take with the f pawn that's the point and knight c6 wait knight c6 sorry i forgot which who moves or where the, where the squares bishop a3 yeah i think i played the same line myself as well as black because i used to double with the aliohin just for fun i mean not for fun actually but then I realized it's not really a good opening to play as a beginner. Bishop f5. Knight c3. e6. Knight f3. Bishop e7. d5. Oh. The older main line is bishop e2. Castles. Castles f6 he takes f6 bishop takes f6 when black pieces pressure black's black's piece pressure against the center creates a position with more or less equal chances for both sides pecoraro move pecoraro's move avoids the balanced game that bishop a2 offers and instead tries to use the center pawns to push black right off the board okay yeah so let's just see how many yeah d5 actually d5 is the i guess it's the new main line let's just see d5 yeah this is like very recent games and then if i go back bishop e2 and there's still very recent games i i guess this is a very bad way to gauge it Actually, there's there's newer games here. What the heck? I mean, I guess, I guess the chess database is also kind of weird. Okay, d5, yeah. E takes. C takes. Now we have a very far advanced double pawn thing. I guess it's like a hanging pawn structure. Knight b4. Now we're putting put much much pressure on these guys. Suddenly white's pawns have high-stepped into enemy territory and d5 is about to be treated as foodstuffs. White's pawn center looks more imposing than ever, but its imminent demise means that he has to attack with all his might. It's too late to revert back to quiet position of play. No pure dynamics lead the dance. Knight d4. Going after this bishop. I guess we're going to drop this pawn at some point, but yeah, we try to just activate our pieces. Attacking f5 and also defending against knight c2 check. Okay. Bishop d7. The more natural bishop g6 has been shown to lose by force. But oh, still theory. Let's see. Bishop g6. Bishop b5. c6. d takes. Castle c takes. Rook b8, okay, yeah, and we're just up, I guess, two pawns for now. Okay, yeah, looks horrible. So this is the theory. Queen f3. Defending d5 and threatening a3. Why was that not a threat before? Now it's Black's turn to show some enter enterprise. Wait, why is not why is a three threatened? 
now, not before. Uh, uh, of course, yeah, I mean, I guess, yeah, that makes sense. Silly me. Uh, now c5, great move. Since knight c2 check would follow if uh, the knight d4 knight moved, white has no choice but to capture black c pawn. Ah, uh, yeah. You can't move this guy away because then this check wins. Thereby destroying the, what remained of his once mighty pawn center. D takes e6, en passant. B takes e6. Try to keep Black's knight in the center as for as long as possible. A3. C5. Again. A takes b4. C takes d4. B takes d4. Uh, castles is fine for Black. Um, bishop d3, bishop c6. Wait, if bishop d3, bishop c6. Is this like a mistake? No, bishop d3 is just, that's just a continuation. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, so e6, f takes, long castles. There's not a white center pawn in sight. That is correct. Wow. But I mean, this structure is a bit, it, it's a bit wacky. I'm no longer averaging six plunders per game. We're fucking back. Nice. That's pretty good. Good job, Mercy. Yeah. I mean, you should be, I mean, I don't know how you're 200 rated. Just to stop quitting games. Uh, yeah, you should be able to get to, I think, like, a thousand, a thousand rating pretty soon. And I'm honest about that. Nine sixty five. Uh, wait, no, that's forty five. Oh, my bad. A three now. Knight takes C three. Knight takes E six. Wait, yeah, knight takes e6. Huh? Ooh. Ooh. Ah, there's nothing like the smell of napalm splashing over the board. Unfortunately for white, he's the one getting cooked. What? Stillman is using 2024 lingo in, in Reassister Chess. He's getting cooked. Knight c a2 check. King b1. Bishop takes a6. Rook takes d4. Rook takes d4. And we have a piece and a piece and wait two pieces and a rook for for the yeah because we can go here with tempo. Because if you took right away, then you could take and then take. Oh wait. But then we can take this. And I guess we have, yeah, we have a piece and a rook and a pawn for the queen. Which is a lot of material. Bishop e2. Also the king is very out in the open. I guess you can't also castle easily, but bishop e2. Rook f8. I mean, yeah, this this king is just in the center. Oh my god, the cock and balls defense! Whoa, the king is is huddled inside the penis hole. Rook f4, queen h5, check. G6, queen e5, attacking here. Bishop f5, check. King a3, I mean a1, a1, sorry. Rook d5. Queen b8, check. King f7. And uh, white resigned. White didn't like what was about to happen to him. After queen takes a7. Knight c2, check. King a2. Knight takes a3. 
Yeah. What will be behind the material if it doesn't recapture? Not to mention lines like... Um, rook c1. Rook d2. Queen takes e3. Rook a8 check. Wait, what's happening? King b3. Rook b6. Rook b8 check. King c3. Bishop b4 check. What's going on? King c4. Bishop e6. Check. Is it mate? Isn't that just mate? Oh, you can take and then, okay, yeah, sure. Mm, but... Queen takes e3. Uh, yeah, 29, queen takes e3. Rook e5. Rook a5, sorry. King b3. Why am I struggling so much with this evaluation again? It's no less painful. Okay, yeah. Mm. What's going on? It doesn't recapture, but... Oh yeah, it keeps going, yeah. King c3. Bishop f6 check. King d2. Rook takes b b2 check. King e1. Rook a1 check. King f2. Yeah. If bishop d1... Ah, you won the rook here. If bishop d1, bishop g4. Yeah, and you're just gonna lose the bishop. There's nothing. Of course, over the years, the strategy behind center bashing has deepened eventually. Uh, deepened. Eventually, it was understood that aside from trying to shatter the center and feast on its tattered remains, one could also force the center to advance and make use of the newly weakened squares there these advances often create. These same ideas can be used against all sorts of pawn centers, no matter what openings they may arise from. However, let's return to the Grunfeld defense for a classic example of a center under siege. And this is uh, S. Glikoric, I don't know who that is, versus Vasily Smyslov. Uh, Kiev, 1959. Smyslov was a uh, world champ, if I remember correctly. Let's go and let's analyze. So this is the Grunfeld. D4, knight f6, c4, g6 here, and then d5, right? C takes, knight takes. This seems like the main line. Exchange variation, yeah. G takes, knight takes. Yeah, e4, that's the main line. Knight takes c3, b takes c3. Oh, whoa, look at the center that white has. Damn. What does the engine say about this? Yeah, it's slightly better for white. Bishop g7. Bishop c4. c5. This seems really cool. I want to play the Grunfeld. For a long time I've been like, ooh, the Grunfeld seems so cool, but I don't know anything about it. Because it's very rare, at least my, at my level. Wait. I guess... I play knight c3 here, so you never can, you can't go to the Grunfeld. Sure, yeah, okay. Maybe I should learn to play d4c. Maybe I should learn to play the queen's gambit, I guess, or... Wait, though, that's not, that doesn't make sense. But maybe I should play c4 at some point. I mean, that's, I guess that's the best move, right? That's the optimal move. But bishop g7 is the most practically strongest. This is Trompowski, right? <laughs> That's cool. I don't think the engine really likes that, but it's it's cool that it's practically the results have been the best for for black. Okay, yeah, let's that's beside the point. Let's go here. So c5, very thematic. Knight e2. Let's see what happens if you take. I guess wait, no, you can't take because then we take with check. Okay, yeah, that's the point. Castles, castles. Knight c6. Bishop b3. Defending the center. 
But it's under a lot of heavy pressure. Queen c7. Rook c1. Defending this weak pawn. Rook d8. Okay. Is white space gaining center strong or weak? I mean, when you trade, there's going to be just hanging pawns. Uh, so... Yeah. It's dy dynamic versus... I guess it's just dynamic, right? Black's just going after the pawns. This position exudes a wonderful sense of balance and teamwork. White is a huge pawn center, black, black, but black is taking aim at it with everything he can muster. Note that he's not just attacking randomly, he's doing his best to beat down on d4. This is being carried out by black's dark skirt bishop, uh, c5 pawn, his knight and his d4 rook. Many pieces, one goal. On the other hand, white wants to make his center indestructible. If he can do that, then he can squeeze his opponent and eventually turn black's helplessness into an attack on the wing, or a breakthrough down the middle. Thus, he is meeting black's aggression against d4 with his own tightening of that pawn, his c pawn. Uh, Dark square bishop, knight and queen are, are all holding life and limb together. Damn. This freaking storyteller, man. That's a logical move, because now you can't really move the bishop anywhere. Immediate f4 can be met by bishop g4. Undermining d4. Ooh, that's so strong. That's so smart. Because it's a light squared attacker, right? Removing a omni squared uh, defender. Right, because there's no way this guy can ever attack these squares, but this guy can defend, so it's like an indirect way of attacking this, right? Um, H3, yeah, prevents bishop g4, so it prepares f4. b6, f4, e6. Maybe trying to stop f5? That'd be a bit crazy. Queen e1, bishop b7. Are we going for a wing, wing side attack now? The Gligoric Smyslov game is an example of what happens when a central advance creates holes that the opponent can make use of. However, here's another classic game that leads to a different central outcome. Ooh, that's cool. Knight a5. Wait, what? Oh, here's a different game, yeah, as opposed to what happened now. So, instead of bishop b7, knight a5, bishop d3, f5. Great move. g4, great move. Whoa, what the fuck's happening? f takes, uh, e4, bishop takes e4, now bishop b7, knight g3, Defending the bishop, advancing the uh, knight. Knight c4. Also, what is this song? It's Fez. The Fez soundtrack. I said I hadn't listened to the Fez soundtrack, but there's one song on the Fez soundtrack that I had liked on Spotify, so I guess I have. Knight g3, knight c4, bishop takes b7, queen takes b7, bishop f2, protecting the bishop. So you wanna. Defend the d4 pawn. Queen c6. Queen e2. C takes. Oh yeah, defending the knight. That's smart. C takes d4. C takes d4. B5. Huh? And white center has been torn down and black enjoyed the more pleasant position. However, Spassky, who had white, played extremely well from this point on. While well, Fisher pushed for a win. Wait, this is Spassky versus Fisher. What the heck? Even after his advantage had vanished and ultimately paid the price. Uh, so this this knight is just really far advanced and on an outpost. And it's going to be tough for white to get rid of it. Because that's what happens when you push pawns. It creates weaknesses. <gasps> oh yes, yeah. And the Z4 score is just really, really weak. Also, why am I so tired, man? I don't like it. 
Okay. So, which move is it? 22. So, 23, knight e4. Bishop takes d4. Wait, what? No, 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 no. This is not, that's not the, that's not what's happening. 64 b5 23 knight e4 oh no that's fine that's fine yeah what am i thinking bishop takes huh knight g5 what do you take oh wait no of course yeah it's, it's yeah knight g5 bishop takes f2 check rook takes f2 Rook d6, Rook e1. Okay, now there's this weakness. Queen b6, pin the rook. Knight e4, Rook d4, dubious. Rook c6, left Fisher with all the chances. Uh, interesting. I guess you still have this pin, but okay, let's go here. Knight f6, check. King h8. Queen takes e6. Rook d6. Queen e4. What happens? Wait, queen e4. Oh, because you're attacking this rook. Ah, oh, sorry, my vision is bad. I have bad eyesight. Queen e4, rook f8. Dubious. Now white is a bit better. Another mistake by black. Ay, ay, ay. Or I guess dubious move. g5. Hmm. I mean, this bishop is, I mean, this knight is really strong. Rook d2, rook f1. Wait, rook d2. Ah. Rook f1. Queen c7. Mistake. Rook takes d2. Knight takes. Queen d4. Now I have this and this. Rook d8. Oh no, Fisher, Fisher might much must have been shitting his pants. I bet he got pretty emotional. He feels he feels like that kind of guy. Knight d5, because he had a he had a pretty big superiority complex, I think, right? He wasn't like the coolest of dudes. Rook f2, knight c4, rook e2, rook d6. Rook e8, check. King f7, rook f8, and black resigned. Yeah. Spassky Fischer, Siegen all 1970. Damn. Let me just see what the evaluation said. So here it's, here it's equal. Moves, moves. Okay, yeah. Huh? King H8, yeah. At first, the engine said this was bad, but now it's saying it's okay. Interesting. Like Rook F1. Like, you lose a lot of the advantage. But then this is a mistake. King g7. What's king g7, dude? Yeah, no d5 just wins. Damn, so that's a cool, such a cool maneuver. Queen b6 still holds on for a bit, but this is just a blunder. Huh? 
Win takes is uh, wait what? Oh wait no, no what am I thinking? Of course it doesn't win the yeah yeah yeah. Wait what? No no that's not correct that's not the move. Rook f8. Ah oh, wait what? What am I doing? What the heck? Rook f8. Yeah this just wins. Uh, for some reason I thought this, but of course you just take and then you win. So you go here. If king takes, queen here. And you could win the queen, I guess. Wait. Yeah. I guess, yeah, also if you take it, the, the queen's just hanging, of course. Yeah, you had to move the queen, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I didn't realize this. <laughs> okay, yeah, but that's just a game. A game theory. Queen e1. Uh, bishop b7. Then queen f2. And this is a mistake. Why did just worse after this? So the natural f5 needed to be played. However, black would have a problem free game after knight a5, bishop d3, e takes, f, e takes f, rook e8. Hmm. Oh, this hangs. What am I doing? I, I can't see shit. Why, why am I going? Why can't I see? Okay, we gotta start playing soon because my brain is melting. Um, knight a5. Bishop d3. f5 by black. An enormously important move that does many useful things. Okay, let's see. It continues to attack white's center. It blocks f4 pawn, white's whole attack was based on the f5 advance, which in turn blocks white's dark squared bishop, knight, queen, and f1 rook. Oh yeah, that's very powerful. And it forces open the h1 oh, a8 diagonal, that's so strong. Thereby increasing the activity of the b7 bishop. Wow, that's such a great move. Does the engine agree? Yeah. I don't know why I'm looking at the engine every time. But yeah, bishop f I mean f5. So so cool. E5 closing up. Closing up. And yeah, so this bishop is a bit sad now. Just a bit. You can go on this diagonal as well. Or even this. But yeah. E5. If knight j3. Queen d7. Yeah, we're defending this pawn. I want to go here. I guess this is more active. We can go here as well, possibly. Yeah, okay. E5, C4. Bishop C2. Knight C6. Black is better. White's kingside attack has been stifled and his zombie pieces are knocking against their own pawns on c3, d4 and f4. Uh, the c2 bishop is snuffled by the c4 and f5 pawns. Black, on the other hand, has a mobile queenside pawn majority. A light squared bishop that seems... Uh, more laser beam than chess piece, and a knight that can set up shop on d5. Yeah, wow. Jesus, man. It's it's important to understand, like, these all, all of these, like, advantages, they're, like, very clear when you think about them, only add up to an engine evaluation of minus 22. Minus point 22. Like, that's really crazy. And that, like, goes to show that, like, even if the engine is like, okay, yeah, that's a fine move, like, you should always be critical about your moves. And not just, you know, say that, okay, yeah, that was just, you know, I lost, like, 0.20, uh, 
evaluation points. But you should you should look at this stuff that's gonna because the engine can't really it doesn't understand this concept. Of course, it can't look in like forever to the future and see that like this bishop is gonna do stuff. But I mean, I guess that's I mean, of course, it's gonna see most stuff. But the, but you know, you know, there's a lot of human stuff that has to be accounted for. Knight um, c6, yeah. G4. This loosens up the uh, h1a8 diagonal even more. And thus puts his king in jeopardy. However, it was either this attempt at kingside counter player passively waiting around to die. Knight e7. A good place for the knight. It keeps an eye on the kingside pawn structure while threatening the leap on d5. Ooh. King h2. Maybe getting a rook there. Also, just, you know, the king is a bit safer here. Queen c6. Oh, whoa, whoa, no, no, no. This move speaks for itself. The problem white plays along the h1a8 diagonal takes on a concrete form. Knight g3. b5. Now that black isn't worried about g takes f5. He takes f5. Wait, wait, wait. Though this leaves white with two connected past center pawns, why wouldn't white be delighted with such a turn of events? The answer is that past pawns aren't very useful if they can't be pushed, and in this position the d pawn will be liquefied if it ever dares to move to d5. Yeah. For more on past pawns, see part 8. Are we there yet? No, next part is part 8. Past pawns, interesting. Yeah, that's a thing I definitely don't think about in games. Okay, yeah. So, knight g3, b5, and a4. Most played. a6, protecting the pawn chain. Rook b1, rook a b8. Bishop d2. Okay. B takes a4. Hadubius. Wait, wait, wait. B takes a4, yeah. Black opens lines on the queen side, thinking that he's the one that can profit from it. However, white pieces also gain a bit of activity, and in general, one should not allow the opponent anything if he's bound and helpless. Instead, he should have put this move off for a moment in favor of uh, bishop a8. Hmm. This strange looking retreat actually has a clear cut point. By getting the bishop out of the b8 rook's way, black threatens b takes a4, when depending on white's 25th move, he has ideas like rook b2, if white's rook moved off the b file, of course, or the exchange sacrifice with rook b3. Whoa. As occurred in the actual game. This idea is more or less force a takes b5 or g takes f5, e takes f5, a takes b5. Wait, a takes b5, what am I thinking? a takes b5, oh yeah. a takes b5, oh yeah, because if you take, then we can. Wait, what? Huh? When a takes b5, it gives blacks two new aims. He can play for an eventual. Before, okay, okay, I'm not understanding what's happening. Mm, black threatens b takes a4. So if you just play a move, b takes. Oh, yeah, of course you can't take. Yeah, 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 that's the point. You can't take. So then you can go here and then get a connected passer. Or a protected passer and then a connected passers, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's understandable. Mm. The B4 push turns the... Huh? He takes B5, use black two new aims. He can play for an eventual B5 push. B5 
by knight d5 the b4 push turns into a c4 pawn c4 pawn into a passer and also undermines d4 yeah and or he can get the bishop off of a4 a8 follow with rook a8 and play for penetration mm, down the a file there's the game no longer serves our theme but it's still full of interest i mean is it sure rook a1 bishop a8 bishop takes a4 queen c7 rook a2 wait rook a2 and to get a grip rook b6 g takes f5 e takes f5 uh bishop c1 knight d5 knight e2 a5 bishop c2 rook b3 great move bishop takes c takes rook a4 stopping this pawn from defending the other one bishop f8 bishop b2 Knight e3. Huh? Knight e3, great move. Huh? Are you serious? What's going on? Rook fa1. Oh, because queen c6 is threatened. Ah. Uh, double threat of checkmate and the rook. Yeah, okay. Wow, that's such a smart move. Rook fa1. Knight c4. Knight g3. Bishop c2. Wait. Bishop c2. Bishop c2. No, that's not correct. I'm looking at the wrong move. Knight g3, bishop e7. Ah. Knight f1. Queen c6. Wait, this is correct. It's correct. Knight f1. But how is this not a blunder? Wait, what? Queen c6. Rook takes c4. Queen h1 check. King g3. Yeah, the blunder was annotated. And h5. Huh? Wait, no, this is not correct. No, h5 is here. Oh my god, I can't read. Okay, yeah, h5. The threat is h4, mate. Damn. This just completely loses. And any move of white's queen gives up the key g1 uh, or f3 square, allowing mating 3. Finally, let's take a look at one more big center versus peace pressure. It's mating 2, not mating 3. What the heck? Big center versus peace pressure game. This time the center wins. Okay. This is a lot of variations. I feel like I need to leave this off here. That's actually the last game as well in this part 7 about space. So let's let's move on to maybe some gaming. Yeah. I need to change the music to something more energetic. Um but yeah, I think I'll I'll play a blitz game as a warm up. Blitz game is a warm-up and then we'll play some rapid. I still haven't really made progress in what the hell? Um uh, with you know starting with tactics. Hello Just, what's up? Because I should I should learn tactics. I should do I should do tactical stuff. What's happening? Okay, it's become 
Wait, what? Yeah, I guess it's not the pits because you haven't played Knight of Six. Yeah, let's go for three points attack. Yeah, just because it's interesting. It's just a blitz game. You're going on trip. What the heck? That's so cool. Do you have a tiny little chessboard to bring the bring to the ship? Please tell me you do. And yeah, nice. That sounds awesome. I hope you have a nice trip. And you can you are you are able to chill nicely. Should we go? I don't know how the three points of deck works actually. <laughs> Let's just push the pawn. That's funny. Yeah. I would like to castle as well. I'm gonna play chess on phone or read chess tactics book. Okay, cool. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, is this defended enough? Yeah. I think you should have. Wait, no, you couldn't have. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Um, this pawn is gonna be a bit weak, right? So we could defend it. I don't really know what my pawns are doing in the center. <laughs> but yeah, my blitz red thing has just gotten pretty high. Okay, let's just stop the 5 from being a thing. Um, there's gotta be something funky here. I mean, not yet, but you know, it's gonna turn funky eventually. We can push our pawns on the king side, that would be funky. Uh, yeah, so this is okay still. It's, this pawn is a bit brittle. Uh, I guess we can defend our center. And develop the bishop. And go back here. I mean, I don't know what that does exactly. If you don't go there. Okay. So you could take with the F pawn, or take with the E pawn. Both seem okay. F pawn opens up and also controls this square still. We're still under control by the bishop. Yeah, let's go here. Open a file for dynamicism. Dynamicness. Mm. I don't really know what's happening yet. Next. I think just push these pawns, YOLO style. Um, okay, it's completely fine. I think I'll just go back here. That's just a kind of a thoughtless move, I think. Maybe push B4. That looks decent. I think B4 is kind of interesting now. Huh? Okay. I guess I could have gone Rook B4 as well, but I feel like this is okay as well. I think. Might just go back, but that's a bit awkward, right? Start doing our things on the queen queen side. Uh, I feel like queen d2 is just natural. We could might want to go there. Okay, now we can put a knight here, and it's really strong, right? It's an active knight, and it's gonna take a while for you to try to get rid of it. Yeah. Okay. Um, we can defend everything with this. Goes there. Doesn't that just hang the hang the knight? Yeah, we're doing really well. It's a winning advantage now. Also, there's this stuff. Wait, no, you could take with the rook and then it doesn't work. Okay, yeah. So you create weaknesses. We could go here. I guess not yet. Just play chill. We can put our bishop here at some point. Okay, the bishop's under a fire again. It's the same thing as before. Um, I'm going to just go back. It's completely fine. Now you're preparing... 
to knock this knight away, but actually you're not. You can also push c4 at some point, it would block our bishop. But it would attack this knight. This is a horrible move, I think. Because <coughs> then we actually have a big pressure. Okay, yeah. Um, we'll go here, we could go here first. Yeah, so now you're defending the knight. There's this weakness, okay. Um, we could just bring pieces in. Could also get rid of this, this fella possibly. Well, I mean, is, is this bishop actually doing much? Not really. I could re reroute our knight. But I don't really see anything great. Just go here, because for the lack of better moves. <laughs> okay. He's playing fast. I mean, now this is a big weakness. Let's go here. You take with an... Okay, let's just take like this. He's running out of time, he's, he's got to play fast. I mean, we're still up the piece, which I kind of forgot about completely. Okay, we go here. Um, let's go here. Blocks our rook. Well... Yeah. Oops, don't run out of time. Let's go in the open file. Yeah, let's just pile up on the open file, I think. Okay, that's fine. I think. Oh, he doesn't... What? That's weird. Okay. We're gonna bust through. Now this square is under heavy, heavy fire. I think I'll put my queen... Okay. Awesome. Nice. Good game. Six seconds left. I could have played that a bit faster, but it's a pretty good game still. Nice. Uh, almost my highest blitz rating ever. Let's go through it. I guess I could just do a review too, just speed it up, speed it up a bit. Yeah. You're insane, broski. <laughs> Thanks. I've been playing a bit of Blitz recently, okay, yeah. So, here, H3, E5 is good though, E5 is good. Yeah, you should have taken I 3 now. Because E6 just blocks my bishop and also prepares for D5, yeah. That's natural, yeah. I would just have a really pleasant position. Okay, this is really bad. It allows for c5. Damn. And I guess they like liquidate my center. Yeah, that's like what we just talked about. But yeah, thank you, used. Um, e6 here. Huh? I guess it just weakens these pawns a lot. Like, it's just the same idea. That often happens. And now there's no light square bishop, so it's really tough to defend this. It's almost impossible. Error classifying this move. Yeah, it's... Oh, okay, yeah. Makes sense. It's so bad that the website breaks. Yeah, I guess I should have thought about this, but I, I just... I guess, yeah, yeah. It's just... The bishops are here, but that doesn't really change the... point. Like here, I mean, D takes actually is, is better. Yeah, okay. Go back. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's a good move. Wait, that's the like almost the best move. No, not quite. I mean, see, it's it's pretty much the best move, but it's it's said to be an inaccuracy. But I should have taken with the pawn. Oh, interesting. I used to open the a file for my rook. Okay, I thought having the knight here is just really pleasant. Yeah, that's a big mistake. So I had a lot of wins here that I just missed. Okay, yeah, and then he just blunders, and then I. And there's nothing to really talk about. Just 
don't make a mistake. Yeah. Good, 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 good. And I think I'll play a rapid game. If I'm insane in rapid, imagine I mean blitz. Imagine how big, big I am in rapid, man. No, it's it's not gonna be great. Okay, let's go. I was thinking, like, should I change from the Joe Bava? It's cool. I think D4 is cool, but I might, you know, start doing some Queen's Gambit stuff or something. Okay. You played very well for Blitz. Thanks. I mean, I've been playing. I've been playing Blitz a lot. It's actually, I feel like it's it's been good for like my time management stuff, and also like thinking under pressure. I mean, I don't know if I'm actually gonna go Queen's Gambit, but I mean that's like the main D4 opening, right? Again, a Pirates. Are you serious? It's all Pirates. Okay. What the fuck? Why is it all Pirates? I don't understand. I guess I should really study Pirates more. Because I guess people just try to force King's Indian. Uh, wait, do I... Does this change? Does it still work? Uh, yeah, I think it still works, because we, we haven't castled, but it should be the same, pretty much. I guess I could also just castle. Wait, let me think. Um, I don't think it changes it at all. You can go here. Maybe it does. No, 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 it's actually better, I think, because the queen can get trapped here. Because if you go here, the queen can move here, but the... Uh, We'll see, we'll see. Okay. If you go here, we push, yeah? I think. If you take, we go here, and then this hangs, and also we're threatening this. It might be just a really quick win. This is the line that used to play against me, okay, yeah? We go here. I think this is like the only move that saves it. But it's it's pretty horrible. Wait, no, I don't think... Can you even save this anymore? How does this always happen, man? Like, it's not even like an opening trap. It's just a mistake that people go for. I've seen this like 20, 20 times. Insane. I don't know if, if Black can even save it anymore, because here... And I guess, yeah, this this move. But then the king is stuck in the center. And this hangs, yeah. I don't think there's any... Oh, don't pre-move that. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't think there's anything. You're just better. I think I'm just winning. But yeah, this, this early night PD7, uh, I, I don't know, like, it's, the, it's by far the most common move. I don't understand. Could you just go here... No, I don't think you can. But, I mean, C5 is just like... I think C5 is the best move. Okay, yeah, you go there. Mm. I think it just hangs the, hangs the knight, though. Right? Because if you take the queen, then the knight's defended. But we take the knight. You can take our uh, queen. We go back. And it's good, yeah. I mean, we just win a piece. Because you're defending this. Yeah. Only if you're Magnus, you can play like this. That is ass, yes. I think you've played this th same thing against me. Did you? I think, yeah, you played this once uh, against me. I'm pretty sure. But yeah. It's super weird. I guess they just forced the Kings Indian. And I guess I have like one extra tempo or something. Okay. Nice. Thanks for the piss. And I have like an extra tempo. And that just leads to this tactics working out. Could go here. How do you defend this? I mean, you don't. Um, you could also just castle. Because you have double pawns or you're down a piece. Like, this is just so bad. Wait, don't go there because that just tanks this. Okay, let's just castle, I think. And then we're gonna put pressure on the a6 pawn. You can also go here, attack this, and also try the fork here. Wait, that would be, I guess, kind of strong. How do you defend? How do you defend this? You can go there. 
Yeah, let's just castle. Make sure nothing hangs. Yes, maybe, but it was Aslan, but yeah. So, like, I don't think there's any excuse for you to be... Uh, this is not a mistake by itself. If you... I think if you take... And then go, like, back, or... Wait, where do you go? What's that? What's that? What's the only move? You can go back, I guess. Or even, like... No, not here. Damn, I should, I should make a YouTube video about this trap. This trap. Like, what's the only move here? I guess you can... Uh, I don't remember, man. I think you can just go back. That's like the only move, but people don't want to play that. Okay, you could undouble your pawns. Well... I don't know if that really matters. We could defend this guy. We could also just undouble here, please, pawns, and then play... I mean, this is probably the simplest way. But that does also open up his bishop. You could just defend... Defend the knight. He can take... It's completely fine, I think. But then the knight's gonna be pinned. I think it's better to just take... I don't care if you get, you know, undoubled pawns. You still have this backward pawn here. Mm, yeah. I wanna play c3 at some point to block block this uh, bishop and uh, make it free, uh, make our bishop free to move. Oh, I could have gone here. Wait, no, not no, no, no. Because then maybe I could have just moved the knight. I think I forgot about that. Could have just moved the knight. That's like way better. But it should be it should still be fine. Okay, yeah, you move. Now you have this the pawns in the center. Um, we should be fine. Just go c3. Rot c4. c3 makes sense. Yeah. I think moving the knight was much, much better. Like even here, like look at this. And I can just play c3. Or even c4 to kick away the knight. My other knights are well defended. I mean, my knights are kind of like, you know, chained or linked together, which is a bit scary sometimes. But yeah, this should still be winning. I just need to activate my pieces. His king is also quite open, so that might be a thing we could exploit in the future. So this square, uh, this move like forces some trades if we ever are able to play that. Okay, that's weird. Like, what is that? This just gives me this square. And this is will, well, you can go here and attack the weak pawn. That makes sense. I guess you'll just defend like this, but that's okay. Because also this is gonna hang. Yeah, that's just that's just a bad move. I don't know why you're pushing your central pawns. Like this is well, yeah, this is just just a conceptual error. Okay, yeah, and I think now this just hangs. Do I take with the rook or the knight? And the knight is is well placed, I think. Yeah, there's no way to exploit this move, right? Could go like here. Now let's drop back. Yeah. Also advance with the knight. Then the knight can like jump here. I think the knight's good enough here. It's also pre preventing the bishop from coming here. Yeah. Just win another pawn. The back rank is weak, but that should be fine. We can even come here with the rook, actually. That's really strong. We can't double them quite yet, but that's that's completely fine. Yeah, okay. Could even go here. Try to do some trades, but if you go there... Well, we can block it. Is that a bit awkward? So you can come here. 
No, that's fine. I think I'll go here. Wait, no, 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 here, yeah. Trying to do some trades. So you can go here, but then I just block the open file and also free up this rook. That should be completely fine. Also threatening this, kind of, I mean, it's the threat. Not really, because if you go here, can not go here because that's mate. Okay, he does the same thing. That's the, kind of like the same idea. Okay. Um, I'll just go here. It's not that this bishop's actually doing anything, right? Yeah. Must suck to lose a piece in the opening, but... That's how the cookie crumbles when you play shit. Yeah, let's be let's be wary here. My rook's well defended. There's no like weird discoveries, right? Yeah, we can always take a check. Everything wins here, like not a success. What's a fu oh, that's a, what's a funny way to play GST? Oh, that's a question. Hello, Trollty. Wow, it's been a while. Oh yeah, we were supposed to play. I've been thinking about that, but I just haven't been able to tear myself away from chess or like the games that I've been playing it's weird because I I've been thinking about DSD but it just doesn't really call me anymore I want to play Zomboid that's a survival game I want to play but yeah I thought oh yeah I have a mod yeah Trollt is my friend I guess that's a mod yeah wow that's so cool sorry you st I lied I said there's no there's no mods but yeah uh, I thought <laughs> either you were making a joke about this is a funny way to play DSD yeah <laughs> Very funny, funny looking characters, um, but um, I don't know at all because I haven't really thought about that. I've been also thinking like, what's a fun, what's a fun way to play DST? But yeah, we should probably play it because I feel like when I try to just start, if I just start playing it, I'm gonna have a have a blast. But yeah, I started playing uh, Rain World as well, and I also noticed that you have Rain World, you bought Rain World too. You haven't played it yet, I think, but it's it's really cool. It's a very fun game. Okay, where do I put my rook? Where do I put my my back rank rook? Because this kind of well, it's okay, I think. I need something to f like fist only, but funnier. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything that funnier than fist only. But yeah, it's cool that you're still playing DST. Have you been playing a lot, or have you kind of calmed down a bit, or you know what's happening? Mm, but yeah, I don't know, man. Ask ChatGPT. That's the that's the old old uh, reliable. But this is a good move because it forces the trade. I think I'll just force the trade. Yeah. I don't really want to just pin myself like this, right? Okay. You can go here first because now you're definitely preparing this. I just go here. You take. That's fine. That's nice. Nice and cool. Yeah. It's pretty much over. This guy is 1630. ChatGPT he wasn't very interesting. <laughs> okay, so I'm I have had a month worth of break. Ah, oh, okay. Months work worth of breaks. Okay, okay, multiple breaks. Okay, cool. Yeah. Same definitely. I guess one break, month months work worth of break. But yeah, I don't know. Okay. Um we could just take we're not forced to, but I guess we can just take. Also, if we go here, this hangs. I guess I could have just kept the tension, but trading is simple. You go f3, limit this bishop scope even more. Because uh, I would like to... I mean, it's not like my knight is stuck. I guess my knight is kind of stuck. Like, if you go here, we gotta go here. Uh, there's a lot of options. We could go here, attack this pawn. Um, could also do this. That's a pretty funky move. But then you just go here. Wait, no, you can't. I mean, there's a lot of lot of options. I think I'll go. Hmm. 
Because this is not possible yet. If I go here, then this... The knight can come back here. Yeah, that's good. I think I'll create just a hole for the for the king. Just create Luft. So there's no back rank ideas. I guess this would have been a bit better, because then I can put my king here and then also try to trade rooks. But yeah, now don't play f3, because that traps my knight, I think. But yeah, let me try to come up with something. I mean, there has to be some funny mods. I feel like if you just look through the community workshop, there should be something, some, some funny mods. That just, like, do something funny with your stats or, like, add a, a dumb variable to the server. That sounds fun. Please do that. But yeah, he's got a queen's side advantage actually in pawns. Okay, yeah. Sure. Um. Oh wait, does this hang? Oh my god, I can't defend it. Uh, I mean we can create counter threats, I guess. Could go here. Are we gonna win this pawn? What the heck? Um. Okay, what do I do? I guess we can go here. Wait, do I go here now? We could have done this before, but now it's a bit simpler, I think. If we can force the bishop out. Just grab some space. I mean, that's gonna create some weakness. I don't really wanna do that necessarily. But yeah, you're gonna win this. Um, I guess we can attack here. Then here. You can attack this pawn. Damn, dude. Oh, that's tricky. He got he got such active because I can't go here. Please don't go there. Jesus Christ, that would be horrible. Mm. I'd love to go here as well. You could also just push, wait, now you can just push this, but that's a bit weakening, right? So maybe I'll go here. So we want to make sure this guy doesn't hang as well. Is my knight actually even doing anything? Hmm. I guess if I moved my knight like over here, that would be kind of strong. I guess I want to get my knight back, like to the queen side. He's gonna go here, but that's then I'm fine, right? Guess you can defend. Oh no, you, that's defended. Oh, I don't know. But yeah, my rook's undefended. We gotta we gotta be careful with that. Also, I need to think about like sacrifices, but that doesn't work right now, because that the rook doesn't end up there. Yeah, that doesn't work. Okay, what do I do? There might be some shenanigans like this. Not right now. But this is really tricky. What what the hell? Okay, let's just centralize our knight, because it's not really doing anything. Also, we can grab the open file once you've Yeah, that's gonna be strong. Actually, no no no. Let's not let's not move the knight from here, because then this is gonna become a big threat. So let's just do like an improving move. I guess we can tickle the pawns here. Well, If we go here, then my, my bishop's very unhappy. Could also go here, you go there, go here, takes, takes. That's a bit weird, because then you go there. Um, my bishop's really sad. I guess we could, oh, we could, we could just push here, but then, yeah. Wait, that's, that's smart. We can just go there and try to liquidate these pawns. Because we take, our bishop opens up. Yay! And if you don't take, then we take and our bishop opens up. Should have thought about this move earlier. But yeah, because if he goes here, I think that's pretty greedy, right? Because then I, I can grab the open file completely, right? 
And this check here... I guess, wait, then it's just a fork. Wait, I didn't calculate. They can go there. That doesn't work. Yet. But I guess maybe this bishop could change things. Ay, ay, ay. Dropping a pawn is a bit sad. But it's fine, we have seven minutes. Okay, do we take with the rook or with the... With the bishop? Because if we take with the... Hmm. If we take with the bishop, it opens up. But if I take with the rook, we're threatening here. And this is really devastating. I think I wanna... Yeah, because this rook isn't actually doing anything. Like, my rook doesn't really actually need to be here. Uh, if I go here, he takes... Then we could do this and just trade a lot. Okay, let's just take with the rook. Because this doesn't work. Oh, wait, this pawn is really weak. That's okay. I can just block it, I think. Yeah, this doesn't work. I can go here. But no, that should be fine. Okay, yeah, you go back. Um, what was my idea? Oh, wait. Now I could go here. And then I could actually block. Wait, let's go here. Now this is really weak, but I think it's fine. Right? So we go back. Then I can go here and defend this and also attack the rook. You can, you can put another rook there, but that should be completely fine. You could even defend the pawn if I wanted to. But then this is gonna fall awake, so... Yeah, because the, the bishop here is preventing me, my, my rook from actually helping here. You could go there, but no, that just hangs. Yeah. He's being tricky. I guess this is very good practice, you know, how to convert a winning position. But it's a bit of a shame that we didn't really get to play proper chess. He just blundered in like... How many moves? You know, less than 10. I hope he goes to study this, study this line afterward, because I would definitely be devastated losing out of the open like this. Um, okay, that's a move. My rooks are like trapped almost, is it? Not quite, but like almost, I didn't realize that's a move. I mean, we could just go back here. That should be fine. We can also go, wait, no, not there. Um, wow, that's that's very tricky. Wow, that's a good move. Okay, where do I go? I need to move the rook. I mean, you're gonna win maybe two pawns here. What the heck? Um, but this check is kind of annoying, right? You've gotta take... I guess now it would be a fork. You've gotta take... We don't have anything there. Because if I attack here, you just go back and defend. Wait, that's fine. Wait, wait, wait. What if I went here? Takes. Then I attack the rook. And the bishop. But now you can go here then. It doesn't work. Wow. Okay, if I go here, attack this. You can push. Then my rook's like almost trapped. If you go there... Huh? No, I can go there then. You could also go here, but no, you take and then you defend. But no, 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 if I go here... I guess you can check in between. Uh, 
Go here. Check. We can just go back. Yeah. Because if you... Oh, wait. If you take... We can take, takes, and then we get this fork. So maybe that is strong. But I don't know why I would... I'm just attacking the rook. You can just move move away. You just go here. And then both my pieces are hanging. No, you can't. You can't move the rook from this diagonal. It's so tricky. Why is he playing so tricky? I hate this. Mm, what if I just went here? That's a bit weird. Here... I think this is good, because if we go here, check. Oh wait, no, then we, no. Then you can take. And then we lose. What the fuck? I guess if we go here, we just take the bishop. On the perils of being on light squares when the opponent has a light square bishop. Here, if you take here, then there's there shouldn't be like a mate or anything, right? Check here. It should be completely fine because you don't have anything but the rooks. Nothing but the rook. And the full rook. Don't think there's a big whammy here. Because the knight controls is important squares. Just go back. Double the rooks again. Because this drops... Oh wait, no, it doesn't drop anything. Was I supposed to go here? My brain's melting. But no, it's okay, because you... I guess, no, that's bad. Yeah. But now I go here. I think I forced some pieces off the board. Wait, was I supposed to go here? I think I was supposed to go there. Then I went here. Mm, I think it might be made. What the fuck? Takes. Takes. I think maybe my knight defends enough, so it's not. Oh, I think I played the wrong move. That's okay. Maybe go here. Uh, takes. If I go here. Check. We can just go here. Check here. Maybe it's a perpetual. That's pretty horrible, right? Okay, everything's gonna be in... I have a minute left. Jesus Christ. How do I manage to do this? Why is it always the scariest opponents who are like in a losing position? I don't think it should be a draw, at least. Okay. Yeah. Don't go there. And it just goes back. Because if I go here... Oh, you can double check me. Here. There's no mate, though. Does it double check? We just go here. And then your bishop still... I guess your bishop can move. Oh my god. Why did I do this to myself? If you just go back. No, we can just take the... Okay, let's just go here. That move. Then we go here. And you might be able to set up like a checkmate thing, maybe. No. Right? We just gotta move this rook. Uh, okay. We don't have any other moves. This is forced. Oh, that's checkmate! Jesus Christ! Oh, the bishop. Wow, that's so... Oh, damn it, wow. That's impressive. He played so accurately after the mistake. Jesus Christ! I mean, that was just my mistake, like, losing that completely winning position. But how did he play perfectly after that? Wow. 
so impressive. Yeah, that's just the plunder. And I'm just completely winning, yeah. That's so painful, wow. Oh, I, I think I just played the wrong move here. I, 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 uh, I just thought for so long and then I, then I... Yeah, I was supposed to play this. Yeah. I, I was supposed to play this and then I went here for some reason. Mm, okay, well... That was a really long game after all. Okay. So this is all fine. Castles. Taking is a bit bad, yeah. Actually, we should have just ignored. Interesting. So if you take, we take, you go here. You get a rook b1 and we... I guess we can gambit pawns, because these pawns are still such a big weakness. We can just take and get a knight here. Oh, yeah. Just completely crushing. I was a bit worried about this diagonal, though. But this is just a big, big mistake. Yeah, bishop b3, good. Knight takes, rook takes is good as well. This is a bit of a bad move because bishop f5, yeah. I guess, yeah, I don't know why I didn't just go here. That was my plan. But then I was like, oh yeah, let's force some trades. But of course it doesn't force any trades. Mm, this is good. Taking is okay. The engine wants knight f3. H h3 is good too, yeah. f3 though. f3 is pretty bad because then, yeah, I saw this. I think I double my pawns, I guess. That's... What is this? G4. I guess G4 works. C4 and Knight F3. I was thinking all about all those moves. But I'm glad I went for this. Bishop takes. Sure. And here we're still completely fine. Rook D1. And this was a really tricky position. But I think... Yeah, this is bad. But this should just be... I guess it's not that great. But we can take... Oh, wait, we can't. Because then it's a draw. You're gonna go bishop d5. Okay, that's tricky, yeah. But I, I, I just I just missed this move. I mean, I mean g5, well, d1. Wait, no, that's... I guess rook d1 prevents this, yeah. Maybe that's important. I mean, this was just a really tricky... I mean, rook a5, oh, I mean, I was thinking, like, it's a bit unpleasant. Knight e6... Oh, because now that's possible. Oh, fuck. I should have seen this thing. Yeah. It was a bit scary. Because here I was thinking like, what do I what do I actually do right here? But yeah, of course, tactics. Okay. And this is a big mistake. And the blunder happens here. I just couldn't calculate. Ah, uh, that's so embarrassing. But it was also just mentally destroyed, like, wow, this is checkmate, what the fuck. I didn't realize that would be made. Of course it is. I've seen this before, but I just... It's from the different perspective, so it's a bit weird. But here we still have an advantage if you just go... Bishop d5. Or knight e6. King h6. And then bishop d5, okay. Bishop d5 was the only move, pretty much, yeah. Just preventing the check. But I mean, yeah, I guess... Doing grab stuff... It's not actually that good anymore. Wow. But he, like, he... Did he make any mistakes afterward? Let me see. I think he just played, like, a pretty much perfect game after the, after the opening blunder. Okay, that was a mistake. That was good. He just didn't make any mistakes, and I guess that's the... Only thing you need. I just, I just fumbled it, yeah. Call Kramnik. What are you talking about? Damn, that's... yeah. I got careless. I, I missed many ideas. I shouldn't have been like that. I shouldn't have gone like that. That's okay. But yeah, I won't play chess for too long. I wanna play Zomba today, actually. Report him to Kramnik. Stop it, man, stop! Stop! When I, when I get my ass whooped... <laughs> stop. Okay, what's happening? Why is this guy not playing anything? Also abort in... Okay, thank god. Almost played this. What is this? What is this defense? Um... Ah, that was an easy win. Okay, yeah, Bowler again. What the fuck? I guess I could try a6, but I don't know any anything else about that, so... 
I mean, here we just go d5, yeah. I don't understand why people still play this. They always play that, bro. Yeah, it's crazy. It's totally insane. I cannot comprehend. But this pin isn't actually... Oh, wow. Uh, okay, so I think this is the correct move, because you can go here yet, yeah. Not uh, of this, but then you can just defend the bishop. So we go here and attack the knight. I've seen this a bajillion times, so I don't know why. People go for it. It is not 1600 red to play gameplay. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing here. Here? I don't know. The queen comes. And also just attack the knight like this. Okay. I think, have I seen this before? Could go here, could go here. Let me go here, wait, no, don't go there. Um, yeah, like he's, he's already thinking at like move eight. He's just playing stuff. Um, here, I guess, yeah, uh, castling as soon as possible is the best. But actually, if it takes, takes, then we can't castle readily. Oh, wait, no, yeah, we, yeah, we can, yeah, we can. Yeah. Just prepare castling. Taking here is completely fine. They also always play so fast. Yeah, I mean, they're just, I mean, it's just, they're a different caliber of chess players. They're just like, they've learned their Rui Lopez and they're like, oh, yeah, let's go, Rui Lopez. Whoa. Because if you just once looked at this opening in the analysis, you would be like, oh yeah, let's not play that. What the fuck? They don't care. But you, we might have to play bishop b6 anyway. But maybe not. No, no, no. Because I'm thinking like this bishop might become undefended at some point. Okay, yeah. Now just castle. Yeah, because if you take, that's fine. Well, thank you for the followers, followage. Thank you, Castle. Yeah. What's your name? Alan Mendoza. Hello, welcome, welcome. Nice to see you. I'm on my 28th day of my... Oh my god, it's almost a month. I guess 28 is like four weeks. Wow. How are you? I'm good. I'm good, thank you. I'm playing my disaster to master journey. Just took a big beating after winning a piece in the opening and then just getting squeezed to death by perfect play. And also my own blunders, yeah. Okay. This is no big deal. Yeah, and we have to move the bishop twice, but that's completely fine. Right. We have a nice center. His knight is awkward. I guess he can go there. But then we just sidestep with our... Queen, we need to remember that this pawn is hanging. We could also, actually, if he goes there, we could go here. I don't really want to trade too much, though. Where are you from? I'm from Finland. There's a lot of information happening under the stream. The biggest chess country in the world. Um, okay. What's happening? He's thinking. Yeah, okay, that, that makes sense. We'd go here, attack here. Because then if he doesn't defend and counts on taking here. Yeah, I don't really want to move my bishop. We could, yeah, we could go here, that creates a double attack. That's like a Morphe style fork, right? Yeah, because you're threatening stuff like, well, that's not a threat, but... It's just an unpleasant pin. Step away from it, please. Step away from the pin. UK. Awesome. There's a couple of Brits in chat sometimes. Cool people. Beautiful teeth. Nice, clean, white row of the teeth. 
always on those guys. I don't know why I said that. Yeah, he's already in trouble. I'm getting really bad opponents now. Because sometimes I get like really crazy good people in the opening, but today has just been a bad. I'm an artist logo for banner. No, no, thank you. You don't need to. No, no self advertisement. That's not super welcome. I hope you understand. Uh, okay, that's a good move. Because we're defending here. Right? But we don't actually need to react to this. Could just develop. Uh, let me see. Takes, takes. Then it could take here. You gotta go back there. I mean, no, that doesn't do anything. No, no, I, I just told I just told you, Alan. I just told you, Alan. No, thank you. I've seen this song and dance uh, a bajillion times. Mm. You go here and attack this once more. Because you can't push it. You could take, but then we're still threatening here. You've got to defend in a weird way. You could go there, actually. Well, what's the critical way to face this? I don't really want to give up my Dark Scorpion Bishop. But I feel like I might have to. You go here as well. But then you push this. Yeah, that doesn't work. Hmm. I'm just ringing the bishop out seems like the most natural move. I don't really think I should be jumping in with the knight willy-nilly. Takes. Yeah. You can just defend in a, in a plethora of ways. Right? Hmm. <gasps> This looks decent. Nice and active. We should still be... I feel like we should be a bit better here. Definitely doing okay. Because you're jumping around with the same pieces. But it's so crazy where those how those sell of advertisers... I don't know if they're bots. They might be bots. This one, might, this one didn't seem like a bot. It's so crazy how they like they ask the questions, like the cookie cutter question. It's always the same questions every single day. It's do you have wait where are you from and how are you, and then they ask like do you have Discord? But you already told them that there's information under the stream and there's also information about the about the Discord under the stream. Like <laughs> that's not a mystery. The mystery has already been solved. Okay, yeah, and. We have we have a, we have an active queen, active bishop. Okay, let's. Just, I mean, we just can't compare. Okay, queen. We have clearly have the better queen. We have the center. He's got a he's got an active rook, but we can challenge that soon. And we have two minor pieces, so I would say like we're slightly better because we have the center, and more more activity. Wow, that's a weird move. That's a weird move. That's a weird move. Oh, that's a weird move. Because now our weak... I mean, this didn't really fix any of your problems. You should have probably developed, right? Because now I can go here. I guess you can just defend like this, but... No, you can't. I guess you can go like there. I think this is nice, because it still attacks here. But then you can, you can just put the bishop here at some point. Oh, what if I went here now? I guess I could have gone there before as well. But what if I went there? So that's defended by the bishop. Attacking here, that's a big threat. And now you can't go here without losing the bishop. Well, I guess I don't... Be, I, yeah, I don't want to... No. We don't want to just have the bishop. Could go here. Wait, no, don't go there. I'm thinking just like... 
I guess this is probably a good square. Just stack here because you gotta defend. Right here. Yeah, this bishop is his strongest piece. So I guess if I really wanted to, I could think about like trying to trade it off. But then he gets his rook a bit more, a bit further. Yeah. I don't see the I, I don't see the point. You could go here, you could even go there. Actually. We could double the mm. That's a bit of a tricky. I don't I really like that. I think we'll just take the open file. Cause you're gonna have a hard time developing. Just the knight would have probably liked to go here. Uh Okay, so think for too long, but we can think for quite a while here. Should I go here? You could also attack the bishop. But it doesn't seem super productive. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. How do we deal with this space advantage? Or how do we use this space advantage, I guess? Go here. Should I be more active? Guess I could. Wait, because this basically forces... I guess you could also go there. Go here. Lol, what? What's going on? What, what, what? Because that'd be a nice and active knight, right? Because if you go there, then we can just go here. Attacking this. You defend it. No, you can't, actually. That's... I think, well... I don't think I'm going to regret this. Because if you, you want to push this knight away, you've got to play a 3 It's really weakening. So if you go there, just go here with tempo. That's gonna be a bit annoying. I guess you could go there. No, you can't go there. You gotta go here. I don't know. Maybe don't reinvent the wheel. <laughs> That's the dumbest four minutes of thinking. But yeah, just what's up? You you said lol what? What's what's up? Oh no, what's happening? Yeah. How do we how do we do here? <gasps> Snow is actually a big bigger threat, right? She can't go here without losing a piece. You could go there. I guess. Yeah, that's a pretty good move. You could also go here, I guess. Whenever. I guess I could have thought about that before. I don't know why I didn't think about this. When the queen just sidesteps. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah, you're stopping this. But now, if I go here... That's harder, because then I go here and attack the rook. Ooh. I feel like we might be cooking here. Logo artist, yeah. I mean, banner, no, no, no. Oh, wait, yeah, artist logo for banner. I'm an artist logo for banner. <laughs> <laughs> artist logo for banner. I love the artist logos. But yeah, if I go here... How's he actually gonna defend? Because this... Then I go here. That looks really bad. Um, what about here? No, then you can just block. I guess you can go back there, but that's a big win. No, 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 because we're attacking... No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we can just go back there. 
That's a win, right? I mean, I guess you could play h3 in the future. But no, we can still go there. That's hella strong, right? You go there. Actually, no, then my, my, my knight's gonna hang. Here, here. Oh wait, no, the knight doesn't hang there. So let's figure out this line. Takes the knight. Takes the rook. But we at least get our rook in there. Oh, that should be good. That should be good. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm happy with my calculations. There is so many promoting log artists, it's unreal. Yeah, I get message on Twitter by some girl and she starts to convo completely normal and all of a sudden she says, would like to see my logo. Uh, yeah, uh, that's so weird. I guess there's just a lot of hustling going on. Because my Steam DMs are like full, because I, I do some TF2 trading. But half of the friend requests I get are like just somebody, some Ubu gamer. It's like, uh, I made this TF2 weapon, please go upvote it. At least click the link, please. I'm like, no, I don't care. And then they come back after a week. And then I scroll up in the message log, and it's just the same person saying the same thing again and again. I'm like, are you a bot? And they're like, no, I'm not a bot. And they, I see them like playing, but they still like, they're just so shameless. I don't understand. <laughs> but I guess, I mean, I don't know if there's any other way to get publicity on the internet. I mean, there is. Just, you know, make good stuff. I, I, it's crazy. And like YouTube comments being full of like, uh, uh, Jewish people should die and my content is better or something like that. <laughs> like, just like saying the most controversial thing ever. And saying that my content is better than this guy's content anyway. So you should just, you should, you should I don't know. They like want clicks on their channel or something. It's crazy. We definitely hit home with this, with this thing. Here, 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 because then I get, wait, do I? Here, okay, yeah, he goes there. And now, how do we follow up? Could go there, takes, takes, I guess king can take there. But then I can take the, I have this check, right? Um, if I go here right now to just defend the knight, you can just like push him away, and this doesn't really work anymore. If I go here, we could trade two pieces for the rook. If you take with the knight, we get our rook in here. I think that's worth worth the sacrifice. No, we don't, because the queen can see that square. Oh, did I? Did, does it not work? Okay. There. Takes. Knight takes. Yeah, I think that, that that's not even good for me. Here, rook takes. Hmm. Oh, I have five minutes left. Did I do an oopsie? I feel like h3 is still like weakening, right? Maybe just play like an improving move. What if I went here? Because how do you defend the pawn nicely now? Because then I could go here. You just take. Takes. It doesn't work. I would love to double up my rooks. Hmm. Damn it, dude. Because we could just play h5. 
Then he goes h3. Here. Just take. Take, queen takes. Takes. At least we get a pawn for the thing, but no. I mean, we just gotta keep improving, I guess. Where do I want my knight to go? Could go here. Let's just go here now first. Because you can block it with a knight, but... Wait, do you want to block it with a knight? I think you want to. Yeah. That might be just helping you. But then I can go here and attack the bishop. And then try to double my rooks. Hmm. At least this wasn't like a waste of a move because you had to move the rook back, but I don't know if it's the if it was the best idea. It's okay to share share your stuff, but after six months is wild. I mean, no, I don't think it's even okay to share your stuff. I guess yeah, yeah, yeah. But after six months, I guess yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you meant like six messages of sharing your stuff. Wow, that's really weakening. Huh? It's a weird move. Okay. Now I think I'll just double. On the light squares, I guess. You also think about doubling the... I mean... Doubling up here... Let me see. Let's just go maybe here, here. Yeah, I think this is good. Just make sure my bishop doesn't get like bullied. Here, is this even good? I guess we could go back there and then try to aim at these weak weak squares. H five well no, that's gonna hang after afterward, yeah. Um, now this is weak. Is there a way to target that? I guess we could go here right now. Maybe go try to go in here. Yeah, because that's really hard to get rid of. That looks decent. You can go back here, but then we get really active pieces. And if you take, oh, you can go there. Maybe I'll just play simple. Because here, he would have been able to go there with tempo. I really just want to trade, because we have more space. Kind of. Okay. I could just go back here, here. But then this. I don't like trading. Mm, okay. Now we're actually eyeing this square. For like four times I've considered this move, but of course that doesn't work. It's very tempting. But yeah, we have some targets, which is nice. It's kind of very hard for black to try to target anything we have. So if I went here, he took. I don't really like that either. Yeah, if I if I could put my bishop here first, okay. Okay, yeah, now that's possible. Sure. We can think about the exchange sec. We would actually win like a ton of stuff for the exchange. I don't think he considered that. So, first of all, I could just move back, but that's a bit passive. If we could make this work, that would be awesome. Takes here. Um, king moves, and then I'm going to take this as well. I feel like you kind of fall apart. That's a pawn move to play. I think we'll just, just sack the exchange. But no, wait. Takes. Check. Our bishop's gonna be hanging. So I guess first we'll... 
Hmm. Oh, we don't have time. I just go for it. Okay, this is another game where I just spend all my time. Okay. Actually quite unpleasant. If he goes here, that's horrible. Um, yeah, I think we'll move this with tempo. He could go there, I guess. That's just bad. So we gotta be careful. Okay. Takes. No, that doesn't work. Okay, where's he going now? Uh, I think we'll double up. I could go here actually and create another threat. That's pretty solid. Um, I guess you can move the king. Or I could just keep the queen here. She's a bit vulnerable though. And so is my bishop. If I went here... Oh, I could go here? No. Create even more pressure on this guy. I think I'll go here. She's a bit safer here. Because we're threatening this. He moves the king. In that case we can... I don't know. Maybe go here. Maybe even trade the knight. Oh, that's a good move. Wait, is it? Is it is it a good move? What if I go here? What do you actually do? Because now we're threatening this again. Go there, but then the rook hangs. Hmm. That's a pretty short-sighted move, I think. How do you defend this? You, you don't. I guess you can go there. But then I've got... Then I might, then my knight jumps into this outpost. That's like horrible. Go there. If I went here anyway, it doesn't work. But we need to remember that the... I guess it might work if the rook moves. Yeah, this, I feel like that's the only move. You could even just go rook e1. We have a pretty dominant position. Rook e3 later. Then actually threaten here. To win a pawn at least. No, I know that doesn't win anything. I feel like putting the knight here is more important. Whoa. You're attacking here, really? Is that gonna work? So we could go here. Wait, no, that doesn't work. Okay. I think we'll just take. Don't think I care about that, that pawn. My sentry is gonna collapse, but this should be completely fine. We can now go here and really try to swarm the opponent's king. Okay. Um, does this force a queen trade? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, right? Yeah, I don't see anything. Okay. Now we just defend this guy. And defend this guy. So at least got a pawn for the exchange, but it might still be bad. Might still be bad. I think I have to go back. Yeah, we can put a, a knight here, which is really strong. I think we should still be okay. We have three pawns, so I guess that's where we're gonna win the game. On this side, I mean.
This looks good. You can exactly exchange back, but that would probably be bad. Because we'd be up a pawn, wouldn't we? Yeah. Um, now we're adding this weakness. Uh, we also want to restrict the opponent's knight. But right now it's being dominated by the bishop. Trading though, it wouldn't probably be super good for me. Hello, I have a dev host. That's a Dewhurst. Dewhurst. That's a really cool name. What's good? Hello, hello. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I was, I was gonna say this position is good, but it's not especially good. I sacrificed the exchange for some pawns and a weaker king, but then we liquidated. But yeah, otherwise I'm, I'm okay. I, yeah, I, it's pretty late. Then my sleep schedule is fucky. But that's, that's about the only complaint I have right now. Uh, what about you? What about you? Dev host. Dewhurst. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Trying to play some rapid. Trying to improve. That's my thing. I want to play some zomboid later tonight. Mm, yeah. What? What are we doing? What's what's going on? We could also try to open lines over here. Can I rook in this way? But I think I do want to also create Luft for the king. Let me see, how would this knight possibly get in? Maybe like here? Or here? So I guess f6 would be kind of decent. But yeah, a5 also looks really interesting. Yeah, especially now. a5, if it takes, our rook becomes active. A5, if he pushes, then he... Wait, then he, he can actually do that. He can push. Takes. Yeah, that's actually bad. So we gotta be careful. Do I just wanna go here? Prevent this from happening? I would like to be aggressive. Oh, I have no time! Oh, I forgot, I ran out of time! <laughs> I hope your day was good. Um, the day I just slept throughout the whole day, pretty much. Oh yeah, it should have been a draw, damn it. I just slept throughout the whole day, pretty much. So I don't know if it was good. I was unconscious. But but yeah, uh, I've been okay, I guess. Um, okay, yeah, so we got crushed by the bowler attack. I feel like in the bow with the bowler attack, I it's really hard to play against it. Because you get an objectively okay position. Yeah, queen c7 is just bad. Mm, let's turn off the engine for now. So this should also, like, well, this should all be good. I don't know about this move though. Yeah, I guess this kind of just defends against everything. I just missed it completely. Could also go here. Then doesn't really threaten anything. No, I guess it. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's actually good because then he's gotta like put more, you know, effort into defending this knight. Right. Yeah. So I guess I made some made some inaccurate moves. But this is still this is all good. This is all good. Yeah, this is a bit weird. And then here we trade. I feel like this was okay. Here I felt like I had the biggest advantage. And this sacrifice, I don't know if it was actually good. Which game do you usually play? Uh, right now I've just been playing chess pretty much, but there's some indie games I've been playing as well. Rain World and... I'm thinking of playing Project Zomboid, maybe even tonight. But yeah, we can't take because this... Check. Yeah. It doesn't work. This guy played really well, actually. Mm. I think I have to take here. I don't. I didn't see anything else. But yeah, then we just ran out of time because I got, I got, I forgot. 
just totally forgot. But it should be okay. I was thinking maybe rook b8. What about a6? Yeah, they should all be okay. Damn it. Well, nothing you can do. Your stream is so amazing. Keep it up. I mean, I feel like today I've just been kind of lacking energy. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, because I mean, I... Right now, I mean, uh, when I started streaming chess, I just kind of started streaming it just for myself, pretty much. I just wanted to have people that held me accountable, which would force me, force me to, you know, play chess actively and just improve. So bishop e7, yeah. d4. Bishop e6 or castles, both are good, yeah. B takes... Wait, is there other moves? No. B takes, yeah. Knight g4 right now. Or knight e4. Bishop d6. Okay, yeah, bishop... Wait, bishop d6. That's the best. Knight e4. I guess this isn't actually that big of a threat, actually, yeah. Knight d3. Whoa, what? Knight takes... Oh, and we win a pawn. Okay. So I gotta remember this trick. Yeah, knight g4, yeah. Both are like the same move pretty much. Because if you take here... And we take this and we're putting pressure there. Knight e3. And we have a really active position. Always keep hard work. One day you will achieve your goals. I'll guarantee it. I guess, yeah. Thank you. Damn, why are you so positive? Yeah, that's... That's true. I mean, I guess... Depending on the goals, of course. They might be unrealistic, but I feel like... I'm more of a pessimist or like a realist. So I set pretty... Pretty, I guess, low goals for myself. So yeah, knight d3. Even bishop g3 would have just defended against everything. I guess? Knight d2. And you give up the pawn. That's pretty hard to play. Yeah, I just missed knight e3. Damn it. And here, bishop g4. Yeah, I should have considered this. I just... Because this isn't possible, of course. It's just a free developing move. Yeah, damn it. I went here instead. Knight takes e5, queen takes, and now it's equal again. Rook a, e, yeah. Should have taken. Interesting. I didn't even consider that. I guess, yeah, that makes sense. I should have considered, I don't know. This is just a mistake. Queen b6, rook takes. Queen b6, yeah. Oh, because of queen f3. Ah. I didn't see that. Okay. Queen f3, wow. But yeah, he didn't, he didn't go for the critical line. So this is actually good. b4 is actually the best move, wow. It seemed really weakening. Uh, a5 right away. Ah. Nibbling at the center. Thanks, Lake Froggy. Oh, Lake Froggy is here. Hello. I'll get up and stretch for you, baby boy. I also grabbed a banana. Banana. Hello, Lake Froggy. Nice, but it was out of frame. I know. I know, I went to the fridge to get banana. But I mean, by definition, when you're getting up, you're stretching your legs, because when your legs are straight, the hamstrings are stretched. Oh, that's actually a move, but queen c7 is a bit more solid. Yeah. Oh, queen b6. Hmm. I'm on queen f3 right away. I guess I just didn't see his moves as well as I should have. But it should be okay. Queen takes. Yeah. Bishop d7. Knight jump is bad, actually. a5 should have been played to open up lines here. Yeah. Because I waste the tempo if I move the rook here, so I'd rather, you know, have the rook be on this file doing stuff. Bro, Ava, <laughs> we were just talking about somebody self-advertising, self-promoing. 
No thank you. Self promo is so dumb. Oh no! No my banana! My banana is on the floor! Bro, I blame you. Big bag. Okay, I'll go wash it and eat it. He was so young. Poor baby. Poor Banan. Five single rule. I mean... <laughs> but yeah, no self promo, no thank you. Um, but... Five single rule. I don't know, because there was literally like... Hair and like... Like crumbs and like... I don't know, some sand or something, or the banana, so I feel like five seconds... Mm, you don't really need five seconds to have, you know, sand and hair stick to your banana. Mm. But yeah, today has been a very followful day. Many follows, follow, new follows, but all of them has been like just the... You know, two minute interaction of somebody being like, Oh, I, I made this thing. Please give money. I guess I should add it to rules. That no self promoing but I feel like it's it's pretty obvious, right? Like, unsolicited... What is the stretch defense? Interesting. Damn. Unsolicited... Advertisement is just kind of scummy. <laughs> How much for full set? I have very good package for our creators as well as it's good because it's very pocket friendly. Bro, I don't have pockets. Mm. But I mean, how much is it? <laughs> That's the question that Lake Frog asked. He's a streamer as well. He's a, he's a great he's a great he's a great dude. Um, if you take, I think that's okay. I don't know how to play against the Dutch. Um, this is the classical, classical variation. You could go here, but I don't really care. Don't really care if you double my pawns. Can I place a girl mercy pillow for five dollar, please? <laughs> I mean, that would be a good. That would be a good product, dude. Somebody should make that. Do I feel ghetto? Yeah. If you are interested, I'll show you. No, how much is it? That's the question. That's your only. That's the only question. Link your fiber. <laughs> like, forget. Don't don't get them too excited. It's not worth it. Okay, the castle. Next, we're gonna be like this, this six, and try to go for e five. I mean, e three. No, wait, no. Let's go bishop here first. What if I pushed right now? I don't know, man. Okay, he goes... Oh, he goes for the Stonewall version. Okay, interesting. That's really weird. No, that's not a move. That's not a move. Okay, we could go... We could just push. We could not do anything. Because now we have this, right? And that just looks really nice. We don't need to occupy that right now. Okay, takes... Takes... I feel like that's just really nice for us. If you take with the pawn, that's okay too. You have the e-file opened up, but that's okay. We can just play e3. There's no problem, no problem. Yeah, this is weird. This is a really weird setup. Where are you from? Romania. Shut up, man. Ava, just... <laughs> <laughs> when people are like no thank you but then some people actually so show interest you shouldn't be like oh yeah jump all jump through all these hoops and do this song and dance to to get the stuff just tell me how much for the whole set that's the, that's the only question link your five it's so simple i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna explode that's not how you that's not, you don't make it as difficult as possible for your customers Imagine if you had to like fill out like a full survey and like give all of your personal information every time every time you order pizza. Are you a bot or an NPC? I don't think. Maybe oh maybe they uh, maybe they're a bot actually. No, I don't think they are. 
Um, wait, what do I do? I think I'll just take... And we could go here. Grab some space. But I feel like we have a whole lot of space already. If I go here... We've got, a, we've got a hanging ponds there, but that's pretty good, right? I mean, I don't know. Maybe I like this clamp here, actually. Also, this backward pawn is a big... Yeah, let's, let's keep it like this. I think I'll just develop. Or do I push? I guess I'll push. That's pretty interesting. Well, just grab queen size space, yeah. But then you can just go here and kind of close everything up. So I guess I'll keep it like that. Mm. Could put my queen here to defend the pawn, I guess. That seems reasonable. Even here. Um... I don't know, this seems like a weird move. I guess you can put your knight there as well. So I guess maybe I'll just play queen d3 to keep her safe. Police does not... What does that mean? <laughs> not in our policy that sends info about it like price etc. That's the dumbest thing ever. Oh yeah, we're selling this product, but we're not allowed to tell you how much it costs, or actually anything about the product. Please give us your personal information first. <laughs> I just banned them. It's so funny. You're too funny, bot. I guess they were a bot. They're probably a Wait, were they a bot? I don't know. I guess they could be a bot. But hey, Lake Froggy, what's that a bot? You can tell me. What's that a bot? Because you're like the dude. You're like the person who knows them. What? Okay, I mean, now we could, well, uh, actually, yeah, now we're gonna... I mean, if you take now, you're gonna get this, hmm. We could put a knight there, that's pretty poggy. I don't really feel like castling yet. Could also go here, attack the rook. Uh, the rook is pretty much forced to go here, because otherwise we get this with tempo as well. Rook goes there. I don't know if you want the rook there. Because I feel like going after this weakness is more important. Also, we shouldn't spend all this time. Yeah. Here. Just go here, I think. If you go here, then you can go here. And then... Oh, this works because the queen is attacked. Fuck. Should I have just taken or pushed? I don't know. It's fine, really. Oh, wait, no, that's really bad. Okay, then we just castle, I think. No, it's no, it's fine, I think. Because this, this is hanging right now, but... Not both, yeah. It was a Discord mod. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's what I feel also. Like, people are so... Quick to say that everything everybody's a bot, but definitely don't seem like bots. And like they were like uh, theorizing, theorizing about like bots that are able to like hear what's said on the on the stream, but that's that's like pretty advanced, I think. Yeah, <laughs> it's so sad, dude. Like just go like go do, go make go make something. Oh wow. Um, weird. Okay, now we could take, and, well, I guess you could take with the queen as well. Um, <sighs> okay, that's an interesting move. I mean, but we can kick the knight away. We can go here. Couldn't play bishop there. What's going on? This is such an odd position. Never played something like this. Takes, queen takes, then we can push the queen away, but let's check, I think I want to just castle. Yeah, 
Which this is a bit annoying. Wait, no, that's not the check. What am I talking? There's two pawns in the way. What am I? Um, we'll also think about pushing this knight away. But then he just goes back. Careful. Yeah, this is weird. He's got a lot of space, but... Those are created weaknesses. We have this weakness here. So we need to keep that in mind. It also really blunted my open file, which is, I guess, kind of smart. Um... He was on an, his NPC quest, guys. I guess, yeah, because wait, he was talking about like his policy or like he's like, was he like part of like an organization? Is he paid? Is he paid to be doing this stuff? That'd be really sad. Okay. Mm. I feel like actually I kind of don't like my position. Because Stonewall defense, like it's, uh, the Stonewall structure is a bit weird. I mean, this is not really Stonewall because you're not, no, this bishop is there. Um, if he takes, my queen is kind of out in the open. It's not like we're gonna attack her super easily right now. We gotta be careful of this move. Actually, yeah, that's horrible. Could go there. Um, Cause then you open up your bishop, and it's a bit scary. And we also do have a bishop there, I guess, so I shouldn't be too worried. Actually, if I was able to trade this bishop for this knight, would I like that? The last curse around my king would be weak, but... Mm. Do I take? Bishop comes here. I feel like I want to take, because otherwise the bishop gets here. Yeah, let's just take now. See what he does. Please take with the pawn, that would be, I would love that. You just remind me I have bananas. That's so good, like... The state, there's two, t there's two states, having bananas and not having bananas, and the other one is just objectively better. I'm so happy for you. He took with a pawn and blocked his bishop, and also... I said he'd open this file. Huh? That's so weird. Okay. Cool. Now we can work on kicking this knight out of here. We can even trade it off. I mean, no, we don't want to take ourselves, right? Yeah, that's weird. That's weird. Okay, now we can just work on trying to keep the center kind of closed. I mean, we have the bishop pair, but I feel like our bishop has prospects. Well, so does he, actually. That's a pretty annoying move, actually. Okay, I guess, yeah, this makes sense. This makes sense. Um... Because he does also block the, the this weak di diagonal here. How would I improve? I guess bring the rooks in. Could maybe even go like here. Push the eight pawn. Grab press space on the queen side. Does he have any plans now? I guess he would be developing. Maybe going after this pawn. I'm this square. Um. Oh, kind of struggling to find anything. You know, I feel like E3 if he wants to like pressure down this file. Um, A4. Then like A5. Because we push this, we can take. Well, then this hangs. That's probably okay. Yeah. I don't know, dude. Maybe I should just bring out my rooks. He's not really doing Dutch stuff though, like this is not how you play the Dutch. In the Dutch you want to go for kingside play, but he's not really... Yeah. I guess also, I maybe I should have prior prioritized getting this knight out of here. 
And also, yeah, because then you can. Okay. Oh no. Okay, well. Now he's doing the king side stuff, I guess. Um, could just go here. Is f4 possible? I guess maybe. Oh. Okay, this weakens this square though, significantly. Takes, if you take with the, this guy. No. Okay, I mean, we just go here, right? She can't get trapped or anything. Now our knight has to jump out to allow f3. Yeah, maybe I should have... Yeah, this, this plan isn't really fast enough. I guess if... Speak of the devil. The kingside, the kingside play starts here. Okay. That's fine, you can definitely take, I don't mind. But now, oh yeah, now I can move this knight. Hmm. So I can't go here anymore. Um, I guess I can go here. No, I can't. I can't move the knight because then you take. And that's not good. Uh, could go here, but that weakens this. Take, I'm happy with it. Very happy with it, actually. So we can keep this tension here. How do I improve my position though? Because I could have put a rook here to defend this. Well, the f is gonna open up, I think. So I guess I could defend this with this guy. But I guess the open files would be nicer. Let's go here. Let's not get forked or anything over here. Yeah, this frees up my queen a bit. Oh, maybe this would have been good. Just e3. To stop f5 from being so scary. I guess it would still be scary? No, not right now. I guess it could always take and then go f... Yeah. Oh my god, I just played Magnus Sicilian. Wait, what is that? What are you talking about? Okay, give me the, give me the game. That's so crazy. Is it for white or black? That's awesome. Okay. Um, I think we just go here. This can't be bad. Um, oh, you can go there. Oh, fuck. But now I can go here. Yeah, he can actually... He can force my bishop off the board. Oh, that sucks. But yeah, now our queen is freed. Maybe just go here. Takes, takes, takes. Yeah, my bishop is actually vulnerable. Oh, maybe h6. I mean, h3 to prevent this. No, it would still be a thing. Damn, dude. What the hell? And now he's putting pressure on this. Oh, no, that's horrible. Oh, I'm getting dutched. Don't play g4, please. I'm getting dutched because then I need to move and then this hangs. That's fucking horrible. How the hell did I manage to do that? Okay, let's put a rook on c2. Wow. That would have worked here as well. Yeah, wow. Um, wait, no, what am I talking about? We just go here. What am I talking about? Of course you don't open up lines. Okay. Let's see what happens. Here we go here. Takes, takes, takes. Okay, yeah. I should probably study the Dutch, but yeah, I think this is my last game today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I wanna play Zomboid. I wanna play like an actual video game. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, today was a bad day though. Today was a bad day. Okay, he takes... Oops, I almost moved the queen. Okay, 
He's just he's just just playing like crazy good. I was just I was just completely lost in this not not like lost like losing but like lost as in like didn't know what to do like at all. Can we take this knight? I don't really want to. Could we have pressure on this weak pawn? Do we have some plans here? Queen. It's weird. This is an odd move. What's he planning? Um, if I take, he opens up the F file, and that's disastrous. What if I went F4 here? He takes on Passant, then I have doubled isolated pawns. At least I get my knight here. Well, I don't know. I, it's just a horrible position. Horrible, horrible. We found here. Well, that's actually maybe okay. But then you can go here. And then you get a pass pawn. Which is a bit weak. If you go here, you actually hang the, hang the knight. Hang the knight, I mean. Oh, wait, this is actually kind of bad. C4 is a great move, right? No, oh, wait, our queen is in the line of fire. Fuck. If it takes, we gotta take the queen first. I think it's still okay. Oh. Yeah, he creates a lot of weaknesses, but I just don't know how to exploit them. Because I could have put a queen there, but that's just... I don't know what the queen actually does there. I mean, we can maybe attack this pawn at some point. I guess, yeah, that would have been a thing. I was thinking about that, but that just seemed a bit slow. I think? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, this doesn't actually hang anything. What am I thinking? It's defended by the, by the pawn. You could just push. I get rid of my double pawns, but I still have a horrible pawn structure. Ay, ay, ay. I sent on Discord the line. Okay, okay. No, fuck you. You can't copy that, you fucking shithole. I can't copy an image, you asshole. Fucking asshole. Fuck, suck my cock and balls, dude. What the hell? Why would I want that? Might have as well, like, you know... Written it in binary and, and sent me a picture of, like, embroidery made in the shape of ones and zeros, asshole. I'm playing it, Bozo. I mean, can't you still copy it? Oh, you can't copy it. Why are you messaging me while playing me, you Bozo? Okay, yeah. Um. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. So we're closing it up. Um, if you take... That's pretty bad. My knight's pretty bad. Gotta remember that my knight is, is in peril. It's only this pawn that's defending him. I'm thinking just play on the open file, right? Do I want to take this, actually? Yes, I could. Because that would be a weak pawn. If the queen comes, that's probably okay. Yeah. Okay, queen trade. You're sure about that? You just lost me, like, one minute. You lost yourself. You came here and messaged me. What the fuck? I don't know. I want to lose. Okay, yeah, that's okay. That's a good answer. Uh, takes. Takes, takes. That just lets invites your bishop in. You're attacking here. You're attacking here. I feel like we pretty much have to trade. We're going to have an isolated 
past pawn. Okay. Okay, now I could now I could put some pressure on the pawns here. How do you actually defend that efficiently? Because you could put pressure on my pawns instead. Go like here. No, that doesn't actually put pressure on anything. We're actually we actually we're doing good, I guess. I feel like we're okay. Rook on an open file. Is a happy rook? Cause you have this, but that's really passive. And we might even be able to double on this file. Also, we can think about moving this bishop to a more advantage diagonal, but right now we're pinning this knight, which is good. You could also put pressure on the knight, but I mean, you can just defend, then you get connected passers, yeah. Also, we do have a passer, I didn't realize to mention that. I guess I didn't realize that, period. But yeah. Also, it's so funny when they come in and they're like, Oh, such a good stream, you're gonna become big, but if you wanna become big, please buy my stuff. Like, that's not, it's not, it's so obvious. It's so obvious. Okay, interesting move, you're taking here, but you can't take because then we take the bishop. Oh wait, no, your bishop just hangs. Huh? What? Yeah, you could take here, take my bishop, takes, you take, no, yeah, that, you know, just trade pawns. It's not the greatest thing, but I mean, I just take here, oh, you have this. Takes, but it doesn't really change anything, does it? Yeah. We just trade a rook for two pieces, which is probably good, considering your pieces were super active. Uh, yeah. Just take. And I'm also attacking your rook here. Because, I, I mean, this check is no better than just taking here, right? It's not, nothing different about this. Just a free exchange, not a free ex. Yeah, it's just yeah, just get an exchange for that. Maybe he was like, "Oh, wow, that's so cool." Uh but now we go here with tempo, and you just lose. You just lost a free piece. Interesting. So now we can go here and defend this. Okay, you just lost. Well, you two know I'm not the only one blundering. Yeah. Unfortunate. He must be pretty upset. But I mean, still, it's. Would have been bad to try to. Your only active pieces for my rook here. Like, super weird. Like, why would I ever be like, oh yeah, let's move these guys <laughs> and just add this guy? That's a even trade. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it would have lost like completely anyway because takes here. You know, if you take, we can take here and then you gotta recapture. Yeah, we would have won just, I think we would have won like two exchanges. <laughs> Is that a thing? Okay, yeah. And now we, and we could even take here. That's, that's pointless. I think we we'll just go here. Yeah, defend and defend. There's this, I guess, but it's just a pawn. Didn't really see any other moves here. Otherwise, we just lose an exchange. Completely fine losing a pawn. Because you have connected pass. No, wait, you have you have two passers. That's kind of scary, I guess. But um, yeah, should be okay. You wanna go here? Yeah. Now we can just go here, I guess. This is the most active square. Yeah, and we're putting pressure on this guy. We're not active. No. Love to... Oh, wait, no, you can't go there. Okay, let's go here. Because if you go here now... Oh, wait, oh, fuck that. Oh, fuck. Because now we can't go here, because then you just win the exchange back. Ah, damn it. King is on h6. 
Uh, which which side are they playing? Which side is he playing? Doesn't really tell me much. I think I have to go back. It's actually defending against the threats, man. Should I have just taken here? I don't think so. But yeah, I wanna, I wanna move my king here to defend against the threat. Yeah, because why? Uh, this wasn't actually even a threat. Yeah, he just did this to win the pawn. This wasn't a threat in the first place. That's a miscalculation. Been miscalculating a lot today. He could take and then create connected passers, but I doubt that's gonna be enough. His king is also kind of unsafe. We need to keep that in mind. We just go here and then we attack here. Would love to put a bishop to control these passers. That would be awesome. What if he just pushes this pawn? Okay, he goes there. Is it if he's afraid of the thing? Okay. Because I could just go here, I guess. To prepare the double. Yeah. Or go here and attack the pawn and just probably win the pawn, right? Why, why is this so difficult? You can't defend the pawn, right? And you're not threatening anything. Oh, I'm playing funky. It's fine, we repeated. It. It's fine. Sent the line for you to copy. Okay, thank you, thank you. I mean, it's not like it was the hardest thing ever, but it's just it's just a weird, weird thing. Sorry for screaming, uh, for calling you a cockball, man. Play it out a bit different, okay. Uh, now I can go... Wait, now I can't even take, okay, sure. Um, this is so funny, what's happening? We're just dancing. I mean, bring out the king. Now we're threatening here. I guess you, yeah, you, you have no way to defend. That's so cool. I never knew he had his own line. I mean, he's probably had a bunch of bunch of things. Like I think every world champion has to have like some, like very many players. They go through like weird obscure games and s like just see somebody like this, like a move that has been played like once, ever or like twice or thrice. Stillman had like an art article about that, I think. Uh, which is interesting. So they just go through it and they like find a weird move and they're like, oh, this might actually be good. And then they think about the move and it's either good or it's it's not that, not good. And yeah, it's interesting. That's how new moves. Oh, he played a move. What the fuck? Okay, we go here. Our rooks are unforkable squares. Are uh, king and rook are. Oh wait, no. Yeah, rooks are unforkable squares. That's the only only threat here. But yeah, now I can take here possibly. You probably push. Yeah. But now you can't push anymore. Um. Okay. We can push this pawn as well. That seems pretty strong. Um. Yeah. Now we can't push anymore. We also bring our king in. I think I'll push this pawn. Just to create hassle. No, I think I'll I'll get my piece in first. My my knight. Let's get my knight to defend the queen side. Because if you just defend all this, there shouldn't be any issues. You can always push this pawn to defend it with the bishop. Hmm. You could also think about, like, if we win enough pawns here, we could just sacrifice the exchange back. Because we're still going to have two pieces for the... For the rook. Do we need to actually do that here? Uh, maybe not. Hopefully not. Um. 
It is a bit scary. I don't really know how, at all like how I should be playing here. He pushes this. I think we'll go here. Attack here. Oh, maybe we can just go there. Do we need to sacrifice? Are you serious? Here. Maybe that works, because then he can't push, yeah. <sighs> Could have maybe just sacrificed the exchange. We would have still been up a pawn, I think. Wait, no, we would have been... Down a pawn? Okay, he takes. Okay. Do I take with the knight or with the rook? Is the knight... Oh! Is the knight gonna be enough to stop the past pawns? I don't think so. This is really iffy. Okay. I don't know, dude. I think I lost. I think I lost. Yeah, I... We're out of time. Freaking pastors, man. Should I... Wait, no, I don't know. I sh yeah, I should have taken with the knight. I don't know if it was going to be savable anyway. Yeah, this just loses, I think. No? We're still up a pawn, I guess. Maybe it's okay. Need to get our king off of this dial. This, this line, I guess. Maybe it's okay. Maybe we have... Ugh stuff so stressful okay we have a passer here they can try to go after this pawn now he's gonna go after my pawns i guess which he can do i don't know what to actually respond to that but i mean if he does then i take here and then it's probably just a, it's it's a draw i think he can win a pawn here yeah Uh, wait, if I go here, he takes, I go like here, can he go there? I guess he can. And also I don't get my king in there. Oh, that's so annoying. I think, am I losing? Wait, we can take this, of course. Just take this. Yeah, okay, we're not we're not losing. We're not losing. Oh wait, could I have We could have checked here and then taken. Okay. Yeah, it's just a draw. I mean, we do have a I mean there's a way to fuck this up. I guess from both of us kind of. Um Oh wait, no, I lost the Okay, it's okay, maybe. Yeah, it's just it's just a draw. Could I have prevented this? Yeah. It's been so long since I was in a king, king and pawn and game like this. Oh wait, could I have? Oh, I could have maybe. No, no, no. If I went back, it would just be in the same position. I mean, a symmetrical position. Yeah. Um, or maybe. I don't know. It's just a draw. Don't lose some time. Okay, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. I could have always just lost this, right? But he doesn't have to do anything, it's just a draw. Just see what happens. Oh, well, at least we got one non-loss today. But yeah, that was a really weird game. Damn, he was playing really well and, like, weird.
You saved easy. I mean, I I feel like I was winning though, and then I just let the past pawns go. I mean, oh wait, there's gonna be past pawns next next chapter, so that's awesome. So I'll be able to try to be able to find a way to deal with them or something. But wait, do you have to move your king now and we get our king in? It's a bit tricky, but I mean, we just do this and then... Well, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's anything. Maybe? I don't know. It's a bit, it's a bit odd, because your pawns are disconnected. Let's not uh, offer, a dra uh, offer a draw yet. Let's see what happens. Take up position. Yeah, and we have this waiting move as well, if you want to. Okay, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's just a draw. Right. Go here, but no, you just shuffle. Yeah, there's nothing. Here, even now. No, there's nothing. Ay, 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 ay. Well, it's okay. But I think I played horribly. I could have definitely lost that. So let's be happy about that. Let's be happy about that. But yeah, very. It seems like a very dubious opening for him to play because it was very weakening. I just didn't know how to really deal with it. Um. Yeah. It's just a draw. Yeah. Wait, they sent an offer, but he just declined it. What? Okay, <laughs> nice. Okay, good stuff. Uh, okay. Let's look at the Magnus line, I guess. Learn analysis. But yeah, that's the last of that. I want to play Zomboid, man. Add game. Huh? What is this? Oh, Magnus is in. That's like the Smith Mora, but delayed. Interesting. And I guess you can't play C3. Huh? Magnus Sicilian. It's not even the Magnus a Sicilian. Uh, Magnus attack or something. It's just got the Magnus Sicilian. That's really pog. Okay. Thanks for that. Okay, yeah, so here... Oh, fuck, I've got to go to the review, because I can't have the opening thing. Analysis... Yeah, explore. This should be all good, right? E3 is main move, actually. G... Oh, wait, G3 right away, okay. Knight B takes no G3. It's not the main line of main lines, but it's no, no, actually, now transposed. Okay, so yeah, this is already a dubious move. Yeah, okay, I, I, I'm i glad I was able to not notice that. So, this is very main line still. And D6, yeah, I mean, that's just what I was expecting. Then castles, let's see, five preparing this, and then we can push D5. Yeah, wait, no, actually, engine doesn't like that, huh? Knight a5, okay, yeah. Um, bishop a3, looks natural. Okay, oh, I pressed review, fuck you. Now oh, the URL is not working. Ah, yeah. Oh, now the freaking whole page is not working. Wait, page unresponsive. Are you serious? <laughs> what? Why? Okay, okay, let's play on this page, I guess. Let's make a new page. Okay, cool. Nice. Uh, so this is already dubious. Oh, this is a good move. Let's see. Yeah, it's, it's good. Because it just creates so many weaknesses. We could have also just taken. E takes his only move. You can't take with the knight. Wonder why. Bishop a three. 
queen d3. And I guess this is just... You also have a uh, backward pawn. I guess, yeah, I guess this is like pretty much forced. Also, you can take with the queen. I see the queen is just very misplaced. It's kind of hard to say, though, why this is so bad. d2, queen a5. I guess we just get a free, you know, knight move if you put the queen there. And now it's already better for them. I should have taken. Wait, oh, no, no, no. So this is bad. Even though I go for the weakness, I shouldn't. I guess, yeah. Wait, no, bishop g5. Yeah, this is just not very good. Hmm, I thought it was. I thought it's logical. I mean, bishop a6, I like, guess, looks more like topical. Or more accurate because it attacks than rook. But I feel like just. I don't know. I just wanted to have the knight here. Oh, the, the bishop there. So we, we didn't, never took, which is bad. Now we can take. He should have gone bishop a6. I mean, a3. Ah, oh, that's why this is bad. Oh, wow. Okay, and now we're doing good again. Knight e5. Okay, this is good as well. A4 is, is actually engine. Engine likes it. C4, though. Hmm. I just wanted to, I guess, keep my center strong. Oh, this comes to check, uh, of course. But yeah, then my queen gets knocked around. But I guess we win the pawn there. Oh, it is just, just forks. Oh, okay, so they can't take. Uh, I should have seen this, of course. That's why I put the bishop here, partially. And yeah, this is just bad. I realized it, that the bishop was really vulnerable here. Of course, I could have just gone back here. I didn't. I just didn't want to stop looking at this weakness, but I guess I should. That was just a lot of tunnel vision. C4 should have been played right now, but okay, this is good. G4 is okay, but Bishop A. Yeah, I mean this is just a redevelopment move. Knight H4, Knight takes, D takes, and it should be a draw. Oh, this is a bad. Yeah, okay. So C4 is good. Yeah, this felt like a really bad, bad move. Okay. I shouldn't have taken. I don't know. I just wanted to, I guess, undouble my pawns. And I didn't really want this to be a thing. Rook e1. So then we can take... Queen takes e3. This is like almost winning. Oh, because it just... It's so many weaknesses. Yeah. I jumped the gun a bit. But it's okay. Queen takes. And this should still be pleasant. Pleasant for me. But that's a mistake because d3. Wow. Should have gone rook c b1, huh? I guess maybe to prevent this from ever coming with tempo. d3. Rook takes. Okay. So the pawn gets so far. But this is really it's a weird move to play. Because then he can't push because he takes. Huh? Takes, takes. Yeah, because this comes with tempo. Right? That's a really hard move to play though. It's a really difficult move because you got to actually like, calculate concretely. Because now we get the both both rooks in here. We can use this tempo to double up on the uh, first rank. Ah. Okay. But this is just loses. I mean, this just loses, yeah. D5. It's just completely winning. F4. I was looking at that move at some point, but I don't know why it was so strong. This is already a bad move. F3 even. King G2. I think king f1 is natural. Oh, wait, no, 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 just... Oh, wait, f4, because if you take, it's completely fine still. We're, like, completely winning here. We have a passer, and there's a big weakness here. And we have two pieces for the rook. Okay, so I should have just sacrificed the rook back. Rook b2. Here, but it's still completely winning. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah. And where's the blunder? Oh, this is already bad. Bishop a6. Huh? 
Bishop e6 by far the best move. What's the idea? A5. How does this stop A5? Oh, we're attacking here. Oh, 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 oh. I was thinking like for a split second I thought. Hello, Anhale 08. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Anhale 08. That's kind of like Annihilate. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, we could have gone on the offensive. Because if you push... Knight takes a 5. King H8. We take the knight. Then do we just like... Rook D1. Wait, Rook D1. Oh, and then you can't... Then you, have, then you don't have the firepower to push. Damn. We just wasted a move with the knight. And that loses, lost us the game pretty much. It should still be completely winning, but now it's more precise. You just gotta go here still. What does this do now? C5. Okay, one. Oh, yeah, you want this bishop on this diagonal. Because yeah, I allowed him to trade. Now it's a draw. Okay, it's just a draw. Okay, yeah. I allowed him to trade the bishop off. Here, it should still be kind of winning with this. Yeah, this loses. Rook a1. B3. I mean, still kind of stop him from pushing, but this is so tricky with no time. Oh, yeah, end games, man. Freaking past pawns. I mean, the next, next chapter is going to be on past pawns, so we can at least try to mend that hole in knowledge. I just felt like, logically, you know, bringing pieces to try to win these pawns was the best idea, but it should have been more assertive. Bishop a6, pretty much only move here that keeps solid advantage. Your name is... oh my god, what the fuck? Is this a bot? Did we actually find a bot now? Is this a bot? Oh my god, that shit they going crazy mode. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> my name is Viv. Damn, can't argue with that. That's a pretty good name. I mean, that sounds like the name of like a like a lord or something. You know, like kind of like Da Vinci had like a bajillion names. You're like Da Vinci. The crucial move was bishop a6. What the fuck is this move? Or knight f4. No, bishop a6. What's wrong with Twitch? Bro, Anhel, right now explain what was that previous message or I will ban you. Because you're a bot. Explain it immediately. Yeah, the idea is that we prevent him from taking our bishop. Because, I mean, that's why I have the bishop here. I was like, yeah, he's gonna... Very smart of him to take the bishop and then start pushing, because then it's a draw. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. I am, fuck you. Wait, what? You are a fuck me? That's pretty hot. Oh, there's a brilliant move, what? <laughs> brilliant, yes. <laughs> They're literally the only move. Brilliant move! But yeah, Anhel, I just explained. I just explained that... I mean, I just... No, no, I just asked if you could explain that message, that bundle of letters that doesn't resemble any human language. Ugh. Did you have the wrong keyboard on? <laughs> uh, okay, this page is still loading. Okay, that's enough chess for today. We had some ups, we had some downs. Uh, yeah. Let's play some Zomboid, man. Let's play some Zomboid. Or Rain World? No, I would feel like playing Zomboid. I want to play Zomboid. I want to just feel it. Feel what it's like to play Zomboid again. Anhel, what's happening? Explain! You've got two minutes to explain what the fuck that second message was about. No, third message. <laughs> My name is... That's actually a pretty... That goes pretty hard. That goes actually super hard. How does that even go so hard? <laughs> uh, 
thanks for the hardness. Her profile says artist. I would say it's profile. That's a vile creature of the underworld. <laughs> 